to it's, see you all it's thursday date night with us and you <laughs> she's paying tonight what is the name of that the one day of the year they used to say that women uh, would ask the guys out what is that cd oh, hawkins day cd hawkins day uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go uh, <laughs> hello and welcome all of you are already there uh, thank you for coming by and joining our date night tonight. Definitely. definitely. Uh, so lots let of us exciting things today coming. This is true. Uh, yes, we had an amazing stream yesterday. Uh, fishing hobbies and not only, uh, go get over after this stream <laughs> and go and watch it if you haven't. Yes. Yesterday we had a rare appearance, I think, in our live streams. Or maybe we just don't know about it. We had a PhD student this is right this that this was that was absolutely one incredible stream and that's the whole thing that we always said we wanted to do here and last night was a great example of that to have a guy on from wisconsin who does a fishing channel yeah nice easy going guy you know no no yeah, no it's, <laughs> he's a phd phd he's writing his uh dissertation uh, dissert on uh, dissertation, dissertation. <laughs> We're off, we're off to another good we're start, off to folks. Another good start, as always. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. In uh, in uh, he's investigating soil and how different water, uh, salt. Yep, uh, uh, salt breaks down inside of it. How to combat that to make so soil more um, malleable with um, salt concentrations. It was very interesting. Like, ask me anything about psychology. Maybe I'll know <laughs> so, most of it, but not all. But salt oh. and water and, and yeah. soil. I, 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 but it was so interesting. I everybody it was everybody was in the chat because you could see the numbers and nobody was saying a boo. Yeah. Everybody was just completely, completely hooked on these words. Yeah. Froze. It, <laughs> yeah. it, it literally just froze, and everybody was listening. To how he was describing what his uh, doctorate is about. Uh, it was amazing. Have you had a PhD student on your live stream? <laughs> yeah, we were as surprised as you are right now. Yeah, no, no, it was a very cool, so interesting. I, I, uh, I love, and that's like I say once again, what I was saying at the beginning about that's what we always wanted to do with this channel is take the people that we are following and kind of take it to the next level and just get to know a little bit more about them. There he is there. Musky Hans. Hans. Yeah. And I got to know that musky is a type of fish, actually. <laughs> didn't know that before. Did you? Kind of. Well, I didn't. <laughs> but, uh, but now I know, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it was it was a lot of information that was new for me. Uh, it was amazing talk. Uh, lots of fishing tips and tricks. Yep. Uh, of course, we also discussed who caught the biggest Fish? Well, that's, uh, you can't discuss fishing without that. One, yeah, so. that's obligatory. I think it's yes, exactly, it's sacrilege, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been amazing. It's been amazing to uh, get to know our guests past their channel because, as we always say, it's not that just the channels. First and foremost, it's people behind them, and we want to know who is behind the channels. Today we have amazing guests. Yep. Guess who? Oh. No. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have enough energy. We gotta get things going. We gotta get things going. We gotta get things going. Let's get things going. Now you got it. I know you guys got it. Everybody knows him. The man himself. It is Marco from from Verdict Squad. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's gonna be so exciting, yeah. so full of energy. I don't know if I have en uh, enough energy for that, but I'm sure he's got some 
have uh, some spare to give to all of us. Yes, so that's definitely. Amazing. Uh, you want to do some hyacinth? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I see there's lots of you guys out there already, and it's so amazing. Uh, Trainman and James Scott, uh, thank you for coming in and modding our chat. Uh, the Mauer Man 82, thank you. You said you're going to be over, and you are. VJ Auto Works, Terrell Anderson, our regular uh, viewer. Mm -hmm. So appreciating. Uh, Gon's fam is best from Gon's fam this time. You're welcome so much. Hi. Uh, River Ben Longbow. I was wondering if you were going to get that Outdoors. Um, yep. I'm so bad at this, but hi. Anyway. He has a great channel. Uh, it was at, uh, what's it called? Something Tuesday. And they shot the two of them, and they shot arrows at a balloon. Uh, Trick oh. Shot Tuesday, that's what it was called. Have you had an apple with him shot on the head? <laughs> yeah, no, they haven't done the Newton thing, I hope, yet. And kids at home, please do not shoot apples off your heads, as we've learned from many YouTube videos. These things do not entertain. They usually end up getting you killed. Yeah, mm. and Mick Wilson, hello, everyone. Yes. It's so amazing. Welcome. Uh, those who are in the chat room right now, and those who are not... Uh, if you're not too shy, come and say hi. So we, we know that you're there. But some people sometimes are shy. You know? They only come they up in the chat at the end. Bashful. Yeah. And I like what uh, Riverbend Longbow's Outdoors said. Anyone with a thick Wisconsin act, accent, excuse me, not accent, act, is mesmerizing. I agree. They I was are, thinking the same thing, too. Yeah. She'd like be reading book like those uh, audio books. It would be amazing. Oh, we just missed the uh, live network. Do lemons live? Well, that's amazing. Yes, God, Brooke had just messaged us uh, under a video a while ago. Yeah. We had missed each other's uh, replies the last couple of days, and she missed one of ours, so she yeah. came over to tell well, us. Definitely, we have to. I, I have a couple of videos lives that we missed uh, today and earlier that I have already in a playlist uh, that I'm going to bed and mm -hmm. watching that. And looking forward to that amazing yeah. content. And I'm so excited that everybody doing these uh, uh, Lemons for Leukemia Live now. It was just a book of a moment idea yeah, yeah. Uh, because we were doing a, an interview with Island Aesthetics, and uh, I just I loved his video of, of eating lemons. And I said, well, why not? We can do it live while yeah. we're interviewing him. And, James, uh, James, James, head up, and James Head, Island Aesthetics, on today. It looked yeah. like it was a really good turnout. Yeah. Unfortunately, we had some things go on today, so we couldn't get there. I'm definitely going back though to oh, watch yeah, so the replay. Oh, yeah, so we're looking through it, but that's yeah. one of the videos I have on my playlist. And so. welcome, Devin Campbell. Thank um, you for coming. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you all for coming. Please don't forget to tweet and like and share with everybody. The more mer the merrier, the more yeah. people we have, uh, the more fun we have. Uh, so definitely uh, share it if you can. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to share it, just go over to our Twitter and reshare my tweet. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. There. You didn't put the mic back. <laughs> I thought you took care of that one. <laughs> there. So you well, probably you didn't hear like a side it. empty voice of us the I whole time. I think I'm so loud that you would hear me even without the mic. And that's my so. bad, too. I should have been checking our monitor. So everything seems to be back to normal. So I hope you guys all had a good day today. I've seen some of you guys in uh, different live streams and stuff like that. I've seen you posting comments. Good to see everybody's keeping busy and supporting mm -hmm. each other. Um. <laughs> Lots of great new content. It's unbelievable. Still going through people's stuff and what you find. It's literally going through people's channels, especially new channels, because it's like going through a grandfather's attic. And you're digging through and you're digging through and you find things like, oh, this is okay. Um, yeah, this was interesting. But every couple of things you pick up and you're like, wow, look, you know, look what I just got here. You yeah, know? I know, I know. There, there's it's, definitely treasures. It's in, uh, yeah. yesterday. I after our live stream, I, I I browsed a little bit through Twitter, and I uh, have Black Pixie came on, uh, mm. and she lives. Uh, I am not sure Korea, I think, but some somewhere twelve hours away from us. Yeah. She had early morning. We had late night. Mm. So, anyways, uh, she had tweeted this amazing video of eleven year old girls singing different covers of songs. Like I couldn't stop watching the videos. Uh, it's her voice so amazing. Well, that's amazing. And mm. you know, if, if she wouldn't have tweeted it out, I would have never. It. Well, exactly. And I loved it. I fell in love. I, I'm watching her videos. What we're time. doing right now is what YouTube back in 2005, 2006 felt like. If any of you remember those days, I know James does. We've talked about this in the past. This is what this is what YouTube was originally supposed to be. Yeah. And that's the fun part of all of this. It's like reliving time, the glory days, if you will. And uh, 
it's such an it's, it's we're making like a whole new revolution by doing this all these creators you know you see them on the, i'm a creator you see them on playlists you see them supporting each other you see them meeting from other ones that are on those channels on our channels mingling and the and that's what makes everything so amazing uh and gives that feel rob uh rob hoffman he got uh where was it because i want to read it out here stopping by to say hello and thanking everyone i just hit 900 supporters excellent job my friend good for you and this is a guy one of those channels like integrity channels you yeah know? And, and he's trying to get a yeah, thousand by 17th okay well, let's bring his channel up for a second yes are you still there uh are you still there rob do you mind if we bring your channel up for a second we're not going to play anything but i'll just show the home page oh geeks is here Hi. Uh, that's the Gen best. I'll, I'll try it. Okay. General Ectoplasm Exposition and Knowledge Society. Yes, I did. <laughs> did it. I mean, how cool is that? Perfect. Oh, uh, thank you so ahead. much. Perfect. Yeah, and I I seen S two W themes in as well. That's so Arizonian Buck. Uh, hi. Nice to see you too. And those two channels that Xenia just mentioned right there alone. Those are also really really great supporters guys uh yes. seen seen around for a long time you guys probably a lot of you guys already know them so definitely if you don't have them try to show them some love if you like what you do what they do which i'm <laughs> i wouldn't even question for a second i'm sure you will mr hoffman has amazing music on uh, if you if you are in love with piano music which i yes sure mm -hmm. like a lot yeah. uh it, it, just go over and check it out and it's not just that there but uh, i just love it for the music yeah. and and go over and support if you haven't uh amazing music halos and heaven sigh hello nice to see you too there's great supporters and an ama yes. they amazing amazing podcast and now we had yeah. them on and we're still talking about it it's yeah. uh it's been amazing yeah and well. uh yeah and harley man the train fan as well excellent been great you've been having you in and that it's so nice like i say once again to see some of the train guys so and here's rob hoffman's uh page and yeah he's done themes and stuff like that for some of the other channels and and uh, uh covers some original stuff like everything piano really good channel so guys really support him he is i seen the number let's look at it again 902 folks so let's get him even higher be nice to see him hit a thousand. Years. I'm just dropping in the because I know people like when everything is easier, and although we oh, can, okay, perfect. Thank we you. we can click those three dots on the side. I'm just gonna still put that link in. Yeah. Go and support Rob Hoff, and uh, uh, he needs to get his thousand uh, by seventeenth. And a real classy guy that I've always watched. Like I, you know, we see each other. The more we've been doing this in in channels, we got to know each other. And, Kind of get a feel how each person is and there's an example of one very classy guy that's built himself up yeah the right respectful way at all times so uh bronc next uh what's up uh, to do that thing do that thing what's up how do you how do you do that uh, uh, peter McKinnon? yeah yeah what's up everybody i can't nobody can do <laughs> I can't, but the uh, high Brock next. Anyway. He puts an extra syllable in there that I think is impossible. Yeah, I, I don't know. He has to do got an extra spelling, uh, Adam's apple. Spelling bee, how to do what's up. Uh, and uh, journey to healthier me. Uh, hi, hello. Oh, it just added. We just connected today. Excellent. Welcome oh. so much. Life with Ken and Jay. Uh, yeah. Welcome back. Uh, yes. Hi, hello. Did the uh, senior song today, Ken? That you did, uh, guys. Great. And remember, Ken, eh? Monday is Manic Monday, Music Monday we're going to be having here. Yes, for um, those definitely. who haven't been yesterday when I talked about it for like half an hour, yeah. <laughs> it's Manic Monday on Monday. There's going to be a whole bunch of different amazing guests uh, right. talking about music, guitars, keyboards, drums, everything music, great chat. I don't know if we're going to fit in two hours. I'm sure it's going to go past that. I am looking here. We had somebody just join us. I had to go look at the name because I didn't recognize it. But you know what? I'm adding it just because I'm here right now, and I'll check on where you work after. World War Potato. And I love your name, so I was sold right for the... Uh, Butterfly Brook, hi, yeah. and happy birthday. It was yesterday, I think. Yes, uh, it but was. But still, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brooke. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday to you. 
Thank you, folks. Happy birthday. <laughs> and Corn Life is here, too. Uh, Thank you, James. Also, yeah. You brought, them, uh, you brought yeah. them over. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> my ears are bleeding. Well, the main thing, Brooke enjoyed it. Yes. So, uh, James, that's way James' way of saying, Andrew, great job. So we're going to take it as that. Yeah, right. We love you, too, Butterfly Brooke. And I like calling you by the butterfly part. I like the name. I just hope the... I just hope uh, Rick doesn't get mad at me for saying that. Yes. yes <laughs> Soon God. to be Mrs. Butterfly. Excuse me. So we, <laughs> we want to keep on our good side because we really like or, or Mrs. Corn. I don't know. <laughs> 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 We're here on behalf of the Pucha Studios. Want to apologize for the previous comments. <laughs> Not even mad. He's so amazing. Oh my yeah. god! Oh my god! He's one of those guys that when he types, I can see him at his table doing it. I literally picture him every time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> anger, um, anger is a choice. Oh, great quote. This is true. Uh, hey, days. days. Welcome. Hi. Another another channel name. He. I think I'm. I'm gonna make him like either blush or get mad at me soon because every time I see him in a channel, my like, best name. I loved your name. I love your handle. There's certain ones, it's funny, you'll have them piling by in a live stream, and there's certain ones that just keep popping out. You're like, you know, oh, I love that. Oh, I wish I had a thought of that one. If you haven't supported it, please drop by and leave me a comment. Kind of like, yes, definitely. For sure, guys. It's good to see you supporting each other. Yes. <sighs> uh, now, do you want to proceed? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I know, James. <laughs> I figured that one will slip by the goalie. Yeah, we, we, we knew that, by the way. We yeah. are up to date on that one. <laughs> but it's a typical James comment. If anybody was to say it, he would <laughs> it's just so James. Well, for Brooke, we would just... Mm -hmm. Brooke <laughs> deserves a copyright strike, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> to you, Brooke, the best gift we could ever give you. <laughs> um, He's had that name for over 20 years. So that was like a teen name that came up? Hazy days. Life with Ken and Jane. I want to write a song uh, about you, all of you. So. One song, oh, all of you in it. Amazing. Wow. That would That's be great. nice. Yeah. Uh, That's like today, brother. Uh, was brother Dunn? Yes. Brother Dunn did a video three days ago. Unfortunately, oh, we missed a, it. Such amazing yeah. shout out video. For his thousandth, uh, thousandth sub. And it was incredible how many how much he tied all of us in like happy uh, happy uh, tra uh, happy hills tra what are they called happy uh, tra trail I, hiking yeah happy trail hiking all these channels that we all know and put us into it but within context is his cross country skiing oh yeah my yeah. god it was all uh, every sentence that he was shouting out was somehow uh, conjoined with uh, either the color or effect or like a uh, sparkle by monica was all sparkly yeah. the screen and us so uh we, we he yeah. used yeah. our uh, intro sound <laughs> yeah and, and joey went all hazy sepia color and it was, yeah. it was so amazing it was no. very unique and dynamic and interesting to watch uh, no. the shadow it was, it was cool so fun. he did Loved a really it. good Loved job it. on um, too yeah, he's gonna be on. I seen James Cox. Days. You're asking about Verdict Squad. Yeah, he's gonna come in a few minutes. I told him because he hit his 800 subscriber to take a few minutes extra on his channel tonight, and we'll uh, we'll be here. Yeah, I'll go miss her. Oh, look, look, there, Tom, a great handle name. There's one that I went for just because I seen it. Best friend in your thread. How much more can you ask for than that? Yeah, I know, I know, uh, yeah. I know, and and you are, you yeah, are. You are. Oh, thank you for the compliment about the scarf. Thank you. Uh, this uh, comes from. Latvia, yeah, it's a bit in Slavic um, fashion. Um, yeah, thank you. Geek scarf. Was, well, <laughs> Geek was giving me a compliment oh. about my scarf, and see, it has black on one side and gold on the other. So, thank you very much. I am, I'm a scarf girl. You know, they're they're yeah. like purse girls and and shoe girls and all that. And I have like hundred scarves. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Actually, James, uh, can, you can let the uh, verdict know that we. Uh, uh, so I don't have to open Twitter. If you can just message him, are you in his stream as well? If you can, just let him know that we uh, sent him the link to join with the, in his Twitter account. 
yeah he can join anytime when he's ready do you do you want to do an unboxing while we're oh waiting? yes you got an unboxing yes okay while we're waiting yeah well i forgot all about that we have never done unboxing <laughs> today finally we got a box that we were waiting for such a long time and i am so excited hey there reese reese mill off-road adventures we are so excited to do this one with you guys. Now, let me do the way you can see. Oops. Anybody getting there? Okay. <laughs> okay. So now a big box address to push studios and i'm so hey there, flying excited monkey. to see it you can guess what is inside and halo can comment on how well i'm doing unboxing <laughs> no geeks you're not getting boxing gloves <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Ta -da -da. Okay, money shot. Money shot. For <laughs> the love of God, don't hit the count. How much freaking packaging is in there? Oh my God! I figured I was wondering about. She's dangerous with a knife. You got that right, Rick. You notice why I sit on my side of the couch? <laughs> okay. And what we have there is a couple. Wow, there's lots of them. Books. This book is called Color Me Gaspe. And it, um, it is a Gaspesian coloring book for all ages. Uh, as you know, and I've seen probably lots of people are getting back into coloring, and uh, uh, we got into this book. We're going to find this page now. This is a book with amazing views from various uh, photographers and artists uh, to include uh, Gaspe. Uh, look at their trains here. Gaspe with uh, descriptions, beautiful views from everywhere around. And look, let's find something familiar here. Uh, there, 12, page 12. Let's act surprised and see what is on page 12. Page 12. There is a Color Me Gatsby book and a drawing version of our photo of Cascopedia River Museum. This is our original. Now, this is our original photo that got transformed into a drawing page. This is so amazing. I'm so excited. It was, it took a uh, good couple months i think half a year at least to get this book all together and uh, this is going to be available in all the tourism spots uh, in gaspe in quebec and uh, our picture is in it yay <laughs> by the way uh yes uh, this is uh also where uh, andrew's uh, dad uh, we're talking about the salmon fishing yeah you gotta bring it over a little bit, yeah right? uh, <laughs> andrew's dad uh, he uh, was part of it before he retired, so we are very excited that they included uh, Andrew's um, hometown's place as well. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, Corn Life, by the way, for tweeting and liked. Yes. So appreciated. Thank you. You guys are That's awesome. That's our boxing. How did we do? Halos, how did we do unboxing? <laughs> now I'm going to get the camera back. That's the hardest part. Yay! <laughs> Now we can send these out as autographs, you know. We got some new people in. I'm just trying to. Uh, so while we were doing unboxing, there's some bits of real Panther. Hi. Uh, nice to see you. Um, 
Who else is here? Millhill is in. Entertain 45. Hemi JL8. Uh, Lady Borgia. Hi. Was a great live stream yesterday. Uh, too bad I couldn't stay for all of it since we, <laughs> I had to jump over to ours, but uh, I, I liked it. Um, Nikki Wilson said you did a great unboxing. Especially the money shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you guys are all too kind. <laughs> <laughs> they are and very patient no. with us too. Uh, um tracking studios, red wine and blue mom. Hi, hi. Uh so nice to see you guys all. Uh Reese's Mill off-road adventure. Hi, thank you so much. Um Yeah, I know I gotta shut off my phone. I can feel you <laughs> Screens in my knee already to tell me. Yes, this, this is the second time, by the way. Yeah. Um, okay, did I mention everybody? I hope I didn't uh, miss anyone. Uh, Chad is going crazy, so it's hard to... Uh, yes, don't forget to cl click that like. Uh, that's right. I'm sure we'll have... Uh, Verdict Squad's going to be here any moment. He just closed down his... Uh, his stream like i told him to keep going he was doing guys we're at 29 we're doing unbelievable yeah here. uh by the way yeah. bits of real panther was asking i can't quite quite place the accent irish nearly scotland no baltic i'm from latvia yeah. and it's uh, a little mix of uh, uh that and latvian Canadian. with a hint of <laughs> russian and a lot of talking in english that's right <laughs> So that's yeah, a it's a, it's, it, it's a Baltic accent. Uh, yeah, that's what you what that's what you hear. Um, um, yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. I I I hope I didn't miss any comment or a uh, question that was directly geared to us. If you would like to have a question to us or to the guest uh, uh, following, um, please put our handle in the front. Uh, so it lights up orange for us, and that will be the easier way to see uh, your question or comment that is uh, directly for us. Um, channel merchandise. No, it's not channel merchandise. It actually was made by uh, English uh, Society of Gas Bay, I think. Uh, and they did it for the whole uh, Gas Bay coast. So we were just very proud to be included. It, it uh, yeah. A committee for Anglophone Social Action, um, and uh, oh, I hear somebody. Yeah, so. yeah. I hear somebody a knocking. How you guys doing? Finally joined. Not too. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Doing well. How are you guys doing today? Not too bad. Sorry about that. I remember you asked me about hangouts, and literally when you said it, that I was like, oh God, yes, yeah, right. You did mention that last night. So. Yeah, for some reason the Twitter link worked because for James's live streams, he has to invite me directly to do Google Hangouts, and that's how I can join. Because using the Twitter link and using uh, in a DM, just sending the link through Twitter didn't work for him. So I don't know why there's a difference. I, the same here. I I don't know why, but it just seems to work out that way. So we had trouble the last two nights. We even had one guest we couldn't bring on because there was so many issues with it. So, well, we're glad we have you here. And once again, congratulations on hitting 800 today. Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, congratulations to you guys hitting 1,200. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, you guys have like the biggest growth story in our community right now. It's like you said, you were below 50 and now you're past 1,200. That's incredible. But you know, I was thinking about the other day, we could have even, pro not this is not bragging things, if I was going just grabbing, 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 I know we would have even been higher. And the, there's a big change too. Like I've seen people saying, oh, I'm losing like 10 and five. You know as well as I do. Sometimes you can lose twenty-one in a night. You know. Oh it's, yes. It's just mm -hmm. part of this kind of hustle. We don't want to call it that, but it is a bit of a hustle. Whether you're doing a classy or whichever way, <laughs> mm -hmm. we're, we're gunning. So, but you're doing great. Yeah, I mean, our channel we lost forty in three days, and even then, and it's not stopping us. I don't really care what YouTube decides to put by the red button. I mean, it's whatever they feel like, whatever number should be. It's not going to stop what we're doing. Exactly, one hundred percent. You make a very good point on that one. <laughs> so not uh, so. Uh, I would sorry because now we're just changing gears. I want to jump into it. So um, I, we know you from the channel. And we're going to definitely get into more about that. But I was wondering maybe if we could take you back a little bit. I mean, we don't want to bring you. This isn't the Maury Povich show. Don't worry, no surprise guests or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. We're still trying to get a budget for that one. Right. <laughs> Wait just, for the endorsement. 
if you want to talk about where you grew up or like just a little bit of a history because we everybody gets to see you every day and i mean you're one heck of a motivator i yes. mean you are we had to start the channel tonight clapping clap <laughs> Yes. The Corn Life Network is when you wake up in the morning, you want to enjoy your coffee. You're the middle of the day thunder running through the place. And we're that, like, you think of like a late show at night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We have so, a good uh, setup there. Keep you motivated 24 7. Well, yeah, exactly. You know, it's good. It's all kind of complementing each other. So I was wondering if you could tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about you and, like, whatever you feel like sharing just to kind of start things off. Oh, sure. Um, well, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio. I lived around this area my whole life. But uh, other than the family I have in the U.S., I have family all over the world. I have a lot of family in Canada. I have family in Europe, Australia, Brazil, and all over the world. Unfortunately, just because of money issues, I can't really go visit them. But yeah, I just grew up around here my whole life. And I just got into uh, starting my YouTube channel just generally just to help people and to improve my public speaking and skills in general, uh, to help with my general anxiety and just to motivate and inspire people. And just based upon our live streams right now, everybody seems to really like it. And I just... I have to go through so much. Uh, I don't want to call it fan mail. I'm trying to keep my ego in check, but it just feels like fan mail. I never thought in my life I would be able to inspire people like this at such a young age. Well, you know, that's the thing about it. I know the other day I had to do something that I, I didn't want to do, but I finally got to the point. And once again, it's not an ego thing. I literally, for the first time ever, had to start putting a couple of hearts because there was just no more time left. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a business. We have two children this you know by the time you do it we literally just don't have any more days and i still go back and try and put one here and there because i feel guilty all the time even mm -hmm. though i can't see them i know they're back there with just that heart and it kind of bugs me but there's at a point where you can only just do what you can do yeah right and i tell people just pace yourself and get to people just they have to be patient we try to give as much support as we can that's a big uh, milestone or cornerstone of our channel we offer a lot of support to other people we try to promote others and really it's just to have fun with YouTube. That's why I still do. That's why I could talk for hours and hours. That's why I have fun doing it. And I love talking to everybody and getting to know people, interacting with people in the chat. It's just fun to do. That's cool. And I mean, really, you get the gang going and stuff like that. It's a real, uh, not a frenzy, but a, an organized chaos, I think is a good name. Because, and that's a good thing. That gets people going. That's uh, Especially, this can really drive you down. And it's nice to have some place that kind of gets you back into the swing of things. Because it can be a really disheartening adventure sometimes here on YouTube. Right, especially with just the platform in general or just some of the bad actors or whoever, whatever drama is going on. But yeah, we wanted to be a community that's a little different. You're a part of it. We are Mill Hill, James Cox, yeah. uh, a few others. We just want to be something a little more different, something that's more positive and people are really receptive to it just because we're trying to do something that's really more ground, baby, because I don't think of it. I can't think of another community that's like us, that's really positive and try to support each other. And we're thinking about collaboration and cooperation. We don't compete with each other because we have vastly different content. We want to see each other grow. That's right. That's right. And even with our lives, like that was something for us right away. We not that we don't like what James did or what you did. Everybody has to find what we're you know something different because they're going to get tired of hearing the same message in the same format, day after day after day. So that's why we took this route, kind of getting to know people more, and then continuing on. And yours is like a direct hit. James is kind of preaching the message. Everybody's doing their own way, but we're all complementing each other. Oh. Right, and I don't feel like saying the same message over and over again. I just clap my hands. That usually works. <laughs> That's a good way well, a clap in the hand can go a long way, as you can see with the people that are in there. So, you know, and, and guys, definitely, please check out Verdict Squad. You know, he's got the, you stream, what, three hours a day? Uh, yeah, I've been streaming roughly three hours a day. Now we're trying to get Twitch going. So once Twitch is up and running, our first stream is going to be coming up, our first official stream. We have our poll pinned to our Twitter, Verdict Squad, now to give people's idea on which video game they want us to stream first. The same, uh, whatever it's Twitch or YouTube, it's the same general feel. I'm still going to clap for everybody. It's still the same thing. We're just moving over to Twitch just because there's more opportunities there as well. We're trying to get that going. So yeah. there's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, with that, so it'll just essentially be part two of our stream. So yeah. we'll maybe just reduce it a little bit on YouTube, but then we just move over to Twitch. So if you have both accounts and supporting us there, nothing's going to change. It's just we'd move to one platform to another. That's a great idea, though. I mean, you're bringing in some from each... <coughs> <laughs> excuse me and i'm a fan of twitch no for the simple reason it gives you a little more freedom sometimes onto it yeah at uh they both mm -hmm. had their ups and downs like i was bringing up the other day about linus i don't know do you know linus tech tips i've heard of them yes but yeah. i'm not too familiar with their channel they're out of vancouver i mean they're a pretty big channel they're five and a half million they're probably one of the top tech wow. and when somebody like that they went Okay, well, in case anybody doesn't know, this is a two-second story. He started with a company in Canada doing videos for their computers. And mm -hmm. that was a computer store. 
And then they realized after three videos it was so expensive, they asked him to put it under his own name so that way they could do cheap stuff and it wouldn't hurt the business. Right. He bought the name in 2013, just him and two other guys. And three years later, they're a team of 20 people plus now. They own 6,500 square feet, bought another six, and they're starting to stream their own. They do YouTube every day. They do a Twitch live stream every Friday. And now they're actually opening up their own platform. And it's called float plane it's 2.99 a month you get to watch and then it's gonna be five later on and wow. it shows you these big guys are starting to diversify mm -hmm. they've done all the research for us we can hate big guys but i mean they got the budget to be able to figure these things out and if they're starting to do these things we really got to watch what they're doing because there is a message there that you know you can't put all your eggs in one basket absolutely completely agree and also just uh taking lessons from that i see our community just essentially having our own platform where we have a fair monetization program where everybody can get a chance at it as long as you meet certain you know yep. rules in terms of attributes we look for in personality it doesn't matter if you have five supporters or five million you would at least if you hit these certain uh terms of honesty integrity positivity you really uh hit home the message of what we're trying to build in our community you should get a little piece of that Definitely. And that's where I was leading into. So I think we're a good team. You read right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe how well that segued. So <laughs> beating off to each other. Yeah. Usually you get knocked off your feet when somebody doesn't go where you are. This is because you went so close on the same sink. So that was great. No, it's true. There is a lot of room here. And I mean, when, and I was saying that last night. We we're looking at our stream. We were at maybe 20 some people. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know something? If you look right now, we are an exact shot of what YouTube is. We're 20 some, and this is a proportionate view of how different and varied it is in people, in content, uh -huh. in goals. Like for us, our main business here is our business in real life. We we are a, a photography videos. So we weren't gunning for the only reason why we wanted 4,000 hours, honestly, was just to build our name. So when our clients go searching in this area, our work would come up more. It wasn't ever to make money on YouTube. But now here we are streaming tonight, so we're not quite sure still what we are. <laughs> <laughs> Learning as we go. Right. Yeah. So no. Our laps. <laughs> right. Because when I first started, I was just planning on just doing product reviews, and I never thought I'd be live streaming going to Twitch. So it's just a huge journey. And before this, I have no professional training or experience. My degree in university was accounting, so it's pretty much the polar opposite. What and then here I am talking for hours and hours. <laughs> no, the, well, I was going to ask you about the accounting because I heard you tell me a while ago on your stream, you had just passed the exam or not that long ago? Yes, I recently passed the CPA exam, which is kind of like the, the U.S. version of just being deemed that you are competent and intelligent enough to pretty much handle the in terms of going up in the field of accounting. So that's the public level. I'm not sure how it is in Canada. I forget how it works. But here, every state has their own exam, similar to how yeah. lawyers have a bar exam here. I think yeah, you've been to the US, obviously, so I don't know how familiar you are with it, but every state has their own exam. They're generally the same. There's just a few different nuances for different states, but whenever you get a CPA license, it's generally permeable between all states. But like how we have here in the 50 states, most things are just generally permeable. The borders really don't mean anything. Yeah, I'm kind of the same here. The only one is the province we live in, Quebec, that's always because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we have a, the, like a bill of rights, we'll call it for lack of a better term. But in Quebec, they never signed it, this province, because there was a fight at the time Quebec wanted to separate. So 1994. Rights and freedoms. And in Quebec, the only language officially you're allowed to work in in Quebec is French. So when yeah. I have a business, and say you call for your electricity, which is a, a crown held, any public or private, as soon as you click nine for or one for French, uh, for a business, there's no more English options. They disappear off the phone. And if somebody speaks to you, it's only by... Uh, by them being a decent person, not by law, oh. they can refuse. Right, I've, I've been familiar, um, I used to do contract work for a company, they had a lot of uh, uh, interest in uh, Quebec, so I heard a lot of French who just say, here, uh, s'il vous plaît, uh, parlez-vous français, c'est bon, and you just hear it all the time. I picked up some French, I'm not fluent, no, but no. I know Quebec, the Quebecois, in 1994, they were this close to separating, it was like very close, it was a very uh, contentious vote, it was very, uh, very tense, I heard about this history too about my family in Canada and yeah, but also like you said before, Quebec has their own little separate rules. Uh, your GST, which is already uh, 5% for your national sales yeah. tax. Quebec is 9.975, I still think. So you already are paying a total VAT tax of almost 20% on top of everything. I don't know if cities in Montreal have a separate tax on top of that or how that works. No. Okay. Thank God. Don't tell them that shit. Don't even uh -oh. bring that because they'll have one in place by I next Quebec, while you're listening. <laughs> See, every province in Canada does have a provincial tax, except for Alberta, 
because they had the crown tax that uh, that the, the oil companies paid into a fund. So mm -hmm. the only province that pays five percent, but every one of them have, but they're varying numbers depending on the province. Uh, it's still, I wish they would take away some of them. <laughs> we could use a break. Now, Xenia, where she grew up in Latvia, they're, they have a flat tax of, what, 23%? 23%, yeah. They just raised it, I think, two years ago. Yeah. Oh. Yes. But, but on one good. hand, it sucks. But, you know, I look at it, they don't really do an income tax. And the other part is, if there's any illegal money, anybody living there, they're still all paying into the tax fund. So there is one kind um, of cost into the Well, in the U.S., that's kind of like two. Um, if there's some illegal activity for funds, like technically you're supposed to report it for taxes. Now, obviously you shouldn't be doing any illegal activity, but similar in the U S but overall in the U S our tax structure, even after the uh, bill that passed that uh, modified it, it's still yeah. very complex because you start off at a higher percentage, but most people pay nowhere near it no. in terms of like the high number. So most people pay very little. It all yeah. depends on your situation. Exactly. Yeah, that was the only thing like over there. If you're buying cars, you're buying restaurants, even if you're like a, a some drug dealer, they're the, the worst of the worst, you still got to pay your taxes at least part of it right. if you want to do anything in the country. So they kind of get them a little bit more, I think, in that one, which makes sense because coming out of Soviet time, there was still a lot of mishmash. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of black money passing the first couple of years, especially and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it sucks when you pay your bill and you see it and you don't live there because, you know, you just threw an extra 23 down the drain for yourself. <laughs> right. So, well, you can get some tax free bag, but don't for everything. Yeah, so, but that's yeah. such a, it's the I, most expensive stores. Yeah. The most expensive yeah. stores do it. Don't care. You get your tax back, but it costs 400% more than any other store in the area. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. That's for Iceland. Like, yeah. <laughs> Iceland's the only place that you buy all your booze when you, everybody that flies, they always buy their booze when they land because it's literally 50% cheaper because of all the high taxes in town. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks like a raging alcoholic. You can tell they're all locals because they're talking Icelandic, and they got like crates rattling on top of each right. other. Like that. <laughs> even the even the guards don't let; they just let them go because they know. Right. They're yeah. Yeah. Well, they had a, a how is it called? A, they couldn't even uh, drink beer up until like uh, beer was illegal in Iceland up until 1989. Yeah. Really? Only, yeah. Only the, they could drink hard alcohol since the prohibition ended in 19 like 34, but beer was illegal till 1989. So huh. one of the soldiers on the base, and then the weird little thing is the airport in Keflik, up until the 90s, was an actual Army Air Force base. So anybody who wanted to leave or come into Iceland had to have criminal clearance from the U.S. Army just to be able to get on a plane in or out. Mm -hmm. Sorry, a little tidbit. We got off track. Yeah. Let's get back. No, it's, all, it's all right. Okay, don't worry about it. This is kind of the channel we have. It's just kind of all over the place, just chatting around and that. So you, uh, so you, you have family in Canada. Whereabouts? Uh, Hamilton, Ontario. Okay, oh. okay, excellent. So, a lot of uh, people that I know are up around that way. A lot of the English people from Eastern Quebec, where I grew up, ended up in those areas. We so. have some, I had some channels in dropping in too from Hamilton. Yes, that's true. Yes, for it's sure. a pretty big place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, have you ever been up there before? Uh, several times for weddings to visit my cousin who has his own restaurant. Obviously, it's around the Golden Horseshoe area, which was used to be the manufacturing hub in Ontario, which is pretty much the Canadian equivalent to what our uh, People call it the Rust Belt, but that's yes. a misnomer. It's just that's the equivalent. Now, what's your? Uh, does he still have his restaurant? Uh, yes, he does. He still has his restaurant in Hamilton. I think he just expanded too, not too oh, long ago. My plug. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I have some Canadians <laughs> in there. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, the, the restaurant's called La Cantina. It's in uh, I forget. It's, uh, is it on Walnut Street? I forget the address of it. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, yeah. it's in Hamilton. And he's yeah. a really great yeah. chef. So yeah, he's a. Uh, Actually, it was an interesting story. Um, some of my family, uh, they had to go to Canada because, as you know, for the U.S., there's a certain quota for immigrants. They won't let certain people pass that threshold. You'll have to wait until next year. So right. Canada took them in. And uh, that's part of the reason why some people went to Australia, Brazil. So, like I said, that's how I ended up with family all over the world. So well, that's cool. That, that, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's sad it can't all be together, but it's one of those stories. Uh, uh, Xenia and I, even here in Canada, the provinces, each province has strict quotas on how many they can bring in per year. Mm -hmm. Back being French, it would have taken her almost three years, even though she was 24, three languages fluently, you know, a master's degree. Mm -hmm. If she speak French, she would have went to the back of the line where we went to Saskatchewan and literally, what, 10 months? Yes. From application? Like it was really fast oh. comparing to what it would have been here. For so, sure. you know, I, I, but uh, where, where did your family immigrate from? Italy. Italy. Oh, I figured Marco, but I'm never. I've learned yeah. that. Put my foot in my mouth. I always place <laughs> down and let the people answer. 
<laughs> yeah, a lot of people think I'm different things if they look at my face. I've heard all different types of uh, guesses. It's kind of funny to hear people what they think I am or whatever. I just say I'm American because I was just born here and lived here my whole life. That's what yeah. I just tell and, myself. And you are. You're having. You are American, and so that's not a lie. That's a, a I, yeah. I can see. I wasn't sure if it was there. Or I thought maybe Portugal for a bit. I, I was trying to guess too. So. Well, it's hard to assume these things. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, uh, most of the time, people are mistaken when they do assume. So it's better to ask. Mm -hmm. Most people are nice, but you're going to get the one person that, like, their family was like murdered 300 years ago in Portugal, and they're going to like scream at you. So yeah. it's right. better, like, for no <laughs> reason, right? Yeah, it's like it's all your fault, and it's like okay. Right. So it's better to err on the side of caution. It's like asking a woman if she's pregnant. It's better off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, did you want to go back and like explore your uh, ancestry in Italy? I'm actually already been back in 2004, so I saw where my parents grew up. Oh, that's so amazing. Uh, did mm -hmm. you, oh, wow. That's, that's so great. Mm -hmm. So what was so, your yeah. relation with Italy in general and Europe in general? Uh, for Europe, the smaller towns were nicer, but I didn't really like the bigger towns because they didn't treat me very well. They didn't, they don't really like Americans that well, obviously, in Italy, but I'm sure the rest of Europe is nice. I've never been to Latvia, so I don't know. I'm just speaking for Italy because I've never been to any other parts of Europe. Right. I have a reason to actually go to the UK now because we have so many fans there now, so pretty soon we got to do a trip for fans. So, yeah. <laughs> Fan me. That's great. Yes. Uh, I have never been to Italy either, though. Uh, Italy, Portugal uh, is my go-to, our go-to next yeah, time. Because I wasn't allowed to go. I was right beside it, and she wouldn't let me go without her. That's why. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, it's no, not fun. I agree, I agree. No, uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, because we have traveled across uh, Central and Western. Thank you. Uh, coffee. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> coffee, coffee run. Uh, you would see how much you inspired us. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I actually got to go get my coffee real quick too, so I forgot to get. I'm gonna just go get it real quick. It's like right over here on the perfect. the stand. No problem. Yeah, we are real coffee uh, geeks. Like I had a shirt the other night. Uh, we're dependent on coffee. It's our blood and air and water all at the same time. Sat down with three cups the other night. I've seen. Yeah, I know. We, we should start doing that too. Yeah. Uh, well, we have some couple of questions from the chat as well, and and please excuse me if I missed some. Just drop it in again so I can notice it because chat is going really fast. Uh, uh, Geeks was saying that um, uh, Verdict Squad, uh, we commend you for everything you do, especially pushing through anxiety. Uh, love, I'm creating a community. It feels like a family without all the drama. Uh, Petra mm -hmm. Media ever uh, says. Um, the verdict squad is now basically a Jedi master. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm Yoda. I'm going to be Yoda <laughs> or Obi-Wan. Um, and Bottle Caps asked, did you go shopping? I don't know what it's related for, but... Oh, um, it's in a reference to our live stream. I didn't have enough food left. That's why I was only eating a little snack because I usually eat more food while I'm on camera because I don't eat before that uh, the rest of the day before I go live. That's what he's uh, referencing. But not oh. yet. Yeah, no, I haven't gone shopping yet. Oh, yeah, oh God! Well, take us shopping with you. Go on. You got your phone. <laughs> we'll we'll yeah. make that part of the live stream tonight. <laughs> well, I seen the other day that you have very healthy snacks like Greek yogurt and stuff. So that's a healthy <laughs> snacking. Mm -hmm. Well, I have various <laughs> snacks too. I drink green tea, but I also eat not so healthy foods like cinnamon rolls and brownies with Bailey's in it and pizza. So, and a, and oh, a big... whoa, 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 whoa. brownies with Bailey's. Yeah, Bailey's. Oh. It's a oh. Irish oh. liqueur. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah no, I no. never heard of the yeah. combination. I yeah. just love the chocolate and the and the Bailey's part all together. Mm -hmm. That's like, Guess what should be seven. baking after the live stream? Tonight. Yeah, my God, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh my God, the coffee's coffee's so hot it fogged my glasses. Uh, <laughs> our son, our son, and God love him, eleven years old, runs coffee back and forth to us. It's like a studio going now, on. Now, and I can't turn the camera. No, I don't know what it is. It's a family yeah. affair. Mm -hmm. so, well, your son. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Andrew. Go ahead. Yeah, you, you go ahead. Um, are your uh, children going to have their own YouTube channels besides just your own Pusa? Uh, also, yeah. Um, can you just clarify for everybody how to pronounce your first name? Is sure. it Pusa? Yeah, it's Pusha. Pusha. Okay. The the. Yeah, I, I apologize for uh, pronouncing it incorrectly. Pusha. Okay. No, he does. That was the mystique behind it, and I don't know if you know that uh, Xenia's mom passed away of cancer three years ago. She was only fifty-five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Town where she grew up in Latvia, so that's why we chose the name. So yeah. And the roof gotcha. is upside down from the, the French version, so we figured all the Quebec guys are so stuck on their language, they'll think it's a spelling mistake and notice us more. So it was <laughs> kind of a two-pronged thing when we picked it. So. 
which is but, yeah uh, sorry go ahead that has happened by the way we have been told that uh, oh you made a mistake someone get like offended at first until they realize so yeah it has worked that's perfect um well your kids have their own uh channels besides just the the pusha uh your own uh uh photography and videography business we thought about a tiny tiny bit uh I don't know. I'm kind of still reluctant onto it, to be honest. Maybe, or maybe we might kind of do more of a family channel. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. I'm yet. not sure uh, because we have a uh, we have asked uh, like our, our middle one yeah. <laughs> because he's more into gaming uh, right now and Minecraft and all those things that uh, his age uh, kids do. Uh, but he hasn't really had so much interest of doing it. He might actually join us on Saturday just for because we are going to have a family friendly content. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but uh, I don't think he's too excited to doing that. As for our youngest one, I think there's going to be so much different yeah. things God help by us the all. time. She, and yeah, God yeah. help us all. By the time yeah. she's at the age where she could do it, I don't know if, if I would necessarily, uh, we would necessarily push her on as a channel at the age now. I think. Um, I think you never know where it all ends up at the end. Uh, you you don't know how it's going to affect them afterwards. And yeah. I would like them to be able to decide on their own if they want to be mm -hmm. in front of the screen all the time or not. And so, I don't want them to have free range with it. We definitely want to keep chatting. Like Miss Cat. I, oh, there. Oh, I, speak, speak, I was going to say, speak of the devil, she'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, she'll. she'll <laughs> Speaking of Miss Kathy, <laughs> yeah, she. I like the way she's doing it. She's interacting with her daughter. They're involved together. They're building together. That is where I think I would more like to do it. I would definitely want to have involvement, whether on the camera or off. I would not give her like any kind of free range to do so. Yeah, like I think <laughs> a lot of our daughter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love her so much, but I, I it's a great uh, model as well. Uh, but. Uh, to have their own channel, I, I, not, not for now. Like you said, yeah. like maybe just informal in, interaction. Maybe have them on now and then, like Chris on Saturday, possibly. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think we. It's just, I don't know if it's necessary. But everybody has their own thoughts on that too. So. And my oldest is twenty, and yeah. I he would probably wish for <laughs> the world to catch on fire before we go. That's why I always tell him that he drives him crazy. Oh, you're gonna sit with dad and we're gonna mm -hmm. talk with dad. <laughs> and so yeah, if you're listening, CJ, I'm sure you're loving this one. So <laughs> <laughs> we like teasing them all. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. I had them, I paid for them, so this is my reimbursement. <laughs> Last week we never really thought of doing like a YouTube YouTube no. or a YouTube thing. Like uh, like Andrew was saying, we started it as as a side thing for our business. Well we started with James just going on at that time was just to kind of help him out because I you know things were going on. Then we were on for our thousands. You were on that night too, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it was there, there. yeah. 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 you crossed the thousand. thousand. Yeah. And then we went on the next one. I told Xenia, I said, let's just go on. We'll do it once, and that will be our kind of our celebration, you know, for a thousand. Yeah, we're definitely mm. not trying to get it fully for YouTube thing just yet. <laughs> but we don't we don't have anything planned, you know. We yeah. didn't have we weren't set up. Like you were saying today, I heard you talking about, you know, with your phone, that same with us. We weren't I'm set up to video stuff outside of this place. I didn't have anything. I went and bought a webcam. I just said, oh, well, I can return it to Best Buy in 30 days if this all sucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> it took my road mic, plugged that in, you know, and that's a good mic. It works for now. And that was just kind of the whole way that progressed. What about you? What's Where do you see your channel? What's your, like, the next six months now you're going into, uh, going to Twitch and everything. What's kind of your goals for uh, six months or a year down the road? Well, for six months, it's just to continue to grow our YouTube channel and then become a Twitch affiliate, just to continue to do what we uh, set up our YouTube channel to do. And then eventually, uh, further down the road for a longer term goal, I was hoping to get into some voiceover acting. And I'm kind of uh, building a portfolio of uh, what I could do for voices. And my live streams, I do different voice impressions, if you haven't heard. Yes, I have. So, I have okay. Seen. I love it, by the way. And have Thank you done you. them previously? Was that something you did when you were younger and or just kind of picked up lately? Um, I actually used to do impressions as a kid. I never really thought of recording myself doing it, but I practiced before, so that's why I've gotten pretty good at the characters I do. I'm yeah. probably going to do more characters, but yeah, also on Twitch, I'm probably going to use uh, different character voices when I'm playing a game, when I'm streaming. So it's trying to do something a little different on Twitch and trying to be more interactive because a lot of people on Twitch don't interact with their audience very well. And we're just trying to bring what we do here on YouTube over to Twitch. So like yeah. I said before, like our own uh, style is not going to change. Just the platform's different. 
And that's good. I mean, like I say, once again, I said from the beginning, it's always good to diversify. You as an accountant know better that's supposed to, you know, any kind right. of advice you give the first person you meet would be to diversify. So it's the same for anything. Yeah. Hey, Joey is asking uh, for you to give us one. <laughs> one of your voices. Which voice do you want to hear? Uh, Joe, do you have a favorite? Let Joe pick. You probably, you probably know already what's one of his favorites. I just want to see what he says. There's yeah, a bunch yeah. of them. We'll have him pick. Isn't he amazing? Yeah. <laughs> they they yeah. don't make him like him too often. I, as, as such a character. Any, he says. That's that's what I figured he was going to write. Any. <laughs> Any? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, how familiar are you with Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, because DJ Krimi just said Beavis. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Beavis. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, be sure to support Pooja Studios and everybody in the chat. Everybody, hang on, everybody. Do it right now. And we need to more, have more episodes and stuff. <sighs> yeah, oh, Beavis. Man. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> and I've heard it before, but it's just... Oh, that was so fun. You yeah. nail it. And I got that's why I was wondering. I asked you about your earlier years because you look like somebody I could see in high school because you got the facial expressions, the way your hands you it's almost like you jump into character to do it. It's not just the voice. I love it. That's right. Thank you. It really is getting into the mind of a character too. Like you become a character. Even if you only hear my voice, it, there's really another entity that comes with that character. You get inside their mind. It helps to know watching the show when it was on in the 90s and then when it came back in 2011 really their personality oh 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 do we still have you oh i hope we didn't lose him. oh i'm sorry oh there you go i'm still here oh good okay no it's um just taking like that same personality from the show of a character and then just applying it so i'll just push up but i'll just use beavis's voice but it sounds like something that beavis would say if they you knew you in real life or beavis was real yeah and how, would, see, how would you say it? You could say our name. Poja Studios. Poja. <laughs> oh, we gotta yeah. get a sound clip. We gotta, we gotta get a sound oh clip, please. God, so... Oh my god, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna have so much following on that. Oh it's my so, god, yeah, yes, yeah, it's yeah. Amazing. <laughs> well, we hope so, but we just uh, keep it. Uh, we just gotta keep going, and you know? we're just gonna keep growing our community. And we're trying to do something different on YouTube because my biggest advice to a lot of uh, kids who are watching, a lot of uh, people, uh, there's eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve year olds, to really just be able to get the most success you can. You either have to do something that's different that's not already there, or yeah. be the absolute best at one thing, and really just go the route of being doing something different because every individual is unique, and you just <laughs> shouldn't be afraid to be yourself. Oh, 100 percent. And I mean, reinventing the wheel gets you nowhere. You can borrow from everybody. And we preach that as well. Like, you know, and then the, some people were in the other side. If they watch anything, they're going to become copiers. And there's a difference between being inspired and copying. Mm -hmm. And you can look for ideas, but you've got to make them your own. You can't take what somebody did like for that 10 seconds and make it just you doing it. That's right. Plagiarism. You don't want that. But if you see like uh we bring up a lot. One of our biggest heroes is Peter McKinnon. We just like his work mm -hmm. and stuff. And he's helped me. Like, I'll take something he did, like a turn in a scene. And when I do my own videos, I'll say, I want to do something like that. But I don't want to do his. I right. don't want that. But I like what he, what he did. And I'll back it off or reverse it or put it, you know. It, you can get inspiration. It's like listening to a song. You'll hear a beat that you like. But you can't rewrite the song, you know. Or that's just copying. Right, because really, if you want to, if you absolutely take inspiration, but you have to make it your own, like you said. You really have to just really find your own voice using what inspires you, because that's going to get you more positive energy, and then you'll be more into whatever it is you want to do. And then people feed off of positive energy. So you've been in our live streams. You see how interactive everybody is with each other. You see how I clap and how energetic everybody gets. Like, how many live streams do you know are like that, where everybody gets clapped for? Did you hear different voices? You see yeah. people eating. You don't see that on YouTube or Twitch. Exactly. You got to see it. You got to find your voice, and you found mm -hmm. your voice with your audience, and that's a huge plus because you've already got three quarters of the work done. If you're right, in, in, if you got true integrity in your work, people do come. Exactly, and if you're positive and supportive and genuinely offer it to people, so you watch people's videos, you like them, you comment, you share, and you give suggestions. That's like leaving a little business card. Let's just say Pusha. That's like leaving your business card right there. It's uh, Saint Auto said this too. I don't know if they're in the chat. It's like leaving your business card on somebody's uh front door of their desk like, people are going to see that it's like oh wow it's really positive maybe i should check them out so even if maybe somebody directly doesn't support you back but you know maybe some other person can so it's just really just trying to think that way as well 
-hmm. Of course. No, and it's, it's a, the proof is in the pudding. You know, I mean, they can see when people are getting each other. Last night we had uh, Musky Hans on. Uh, you know, Musky, the, the fishing guy from Wisconsin. Um, I've seen his name before, but I'm not too familiar with him. Yeah, he was kind of a neat guy, and we got him on, you know, fishing. We were going to talk. And the guy sits there and tells us for the next 10 minutes about how he's writing his dissertation. He's going for his doctorate in uh, soil and... So, yes, uh, soil exploration and different types of water affecting the <laughs> soil. Like, he he's going for PhD. We never yep. thought of that watching the videos. The same as many other guests that yep. we had would never think about the background that they're having. And know? we're watching the numbers. They weren't going down, but nobody was leaving. And then we said, yeah. the one guy, I forget who wrote it, said, this, uh, I've never seen an awe in the crowd before, you know, as somebody talks. Because like, we're, it was, it's, that was our goal with this was to kind of, okay, now we know each other. Now let's really get to know each other. So three years down the road, you know, we know about, you know, where you came from, what you did to try and keep that bond really strong, you know, so we're always kind of growing together. And so I like, that's what I mean about is each finding our own voice. We're not, I don't believe for one moment, any of us are stepping on each other's shoes that way. Right. It's just really just getting to know people. And this is not a competition. Now, if you had never given the chance to get to know each other, you probably never would have known that I have Canadian family. There's mm -hmm. no indication to say in my content, oh, this guy definitely has family in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just wrote the acceptance, you know, wrote his exam for, uh, you know, accounting, uh, accounting yeah. and stuff like that. Personal. Right. I find that really interesting because we'd see our videos. People, when they seen our videos at first, didn't know what the hell we were. That's why it was so right. neat when we went on James. Because they didn't know if it was a guy or a girl. They didn't know if it was a group. They didn't know anything about us because we don't go in front of the camera. Yeah, and they're like, right. oh, now it makes more sense. Yeah. Because I used to make comments like, oh, I like this makeup. Yeah. This is my favorite mascara. And yeah. then at the same time, Andrew would you know, talk about trucks in the comments and fishing without writing who was who. So people, I guess, uh, had a little bit of confusion going and, uh, on. I, like, I think they're a little worried that? about us in general. Uh, yeah, but that, yeah. That, that's why it was so amazing, I think, to, to talk. You know, with and people, people really I mean, well. our videos were doing well. I think one thing, because we all have our strengths for us, it is editing. I think that's my forte. I think that's what catches most. Because we're, yeah. we're not a specialty channel. We don't do carving. We don't do exercise. We don't do that. That's not our thing. We're a lot are. So that was kind of our call to fame for that, of lack of a better term. And I think after people connected with us, I think they enjoyed our work more because they kind of got to see, you know, you listen to music, but once you get to meet the composer, mm -hmm. it's a better repertoire with everybody. It's like me too. When I did, I finally showed my face. The support just like shot up. It's a skyrocket because now I talk more about myself. People are putting a face to Verdict Squad, even yeah. though I just keep saying we or us because I don't like just saying I or me because it's not one person doing everything. It's right. our whole community, which is why we're able to make the great content and be able to be supportive. It's not just one person doing everything. It's we and us. Right. And you guys work it very well that way. I mean, you've been very true to that. You mentioned that probably, and this is not being insulting, literally probably 100 times per stream because it is that important, you know, and that's great because then stuff like that sometimes you've seen at the other one, some of them end up almost like Lord of the Flies after a while, you know, and the right. People, and that's what I said. The day that happens with us is the day I shut everything off. Like, I'll just go back to making videos and I'm done. Like, mm -hmm. uh, the younger one, I know some of the younger ones get into it. I remember it years ago when there was MR, MRIC, those uh, relay chat channels in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And that's what always was happening into them, you know. Oh, can you make me moderate? And then the moderators start banning everybody, and then they start fighting against each oh, other. Oh, yeah. And it's like, no, this I'm too old for this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Check me out. And here's my but video. like Geeks was saying, you know, it's a family and community without yep. all the drama. And, and, and you know, that, yep. that's that's what is good about it. I don't care for YouTube drama, although YouTube loves oh. drama. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't care for that. It's, it's great the way it is now, you know. No, it's, it's uh, supportive, and you guys, you really keep that message going through everybody. So uh, I have had like ten different uh, requests here for a special voice. I don't know. I if, figured that was coming. I don't know if you're gonna agree to or not, but everybody is talking about you doing James Cox voice. Yes, I heard that. Oh, the okay. Day. Yeah, this is good. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, which uh, which hashtag should I use? He does a lot of them. Like which. Uh. Well, both I'm creator seven figures for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to watch your channel grow, we watch the videos in the playlist, like the video, comment, 100% money back guarantee if you do these things. Seven figures for everyone. I can't really do a British accent like him because he has a mix of American and British. He's been in the US since 2002. 
Yeah. So yeah, he's a um, yeah, he's mixed both American and British, but yeah. That was great though. Yeah. <laughs> See, James, he said that he can't uh, that you can't do that, that he can't be replicated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Only one James. Amazing. That's gonna be his new hashtag. Can't be re replicated. I can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it was fun. Yeah, everybody uh, loving it uh, yeah, in, no. in the chat. Uh, so yeah. that was amazing. Cool. So, so thank cool. you. <laughs> oh my god. Um, are you uh, going back to product uh, review ever? Are you thinking of going back to that or? Um, we've incorporated some of the themes that we have in our videos, like product reviews, tech advice. Uh, we did a travel series earlier. It's just going to be in live stream form. So oh. really just live streaming is just the format. We do everything. So I've done product reviews where if I eat something new or drink something new, I do a review on it. So I did a, a beer review recently. I'm sure, I don't know if Jada Diva is in the chat. He'll like that too. I did a, a craft beer review because I want to do a craft beer series as well, but it's just going to be in live stream form. It's just live streaming. I just like the format a lot better because it's a lot more interactive and it's just more fun to get to talk to people and get to know people and people see that energy and they feed off of that energy. And it's a great place to meet more people. Yes, I, I think it's a great way of doing it because it's also uh, it, it's great interaction. Plus, it saves time on editing. If, mm. if editing is not your thing and, and you know it's not the focus of the video, the yeah. interaction is the action behind what you're doing is. Then I think live is a great answer to that. You know, you see, I, that's where I have a crossroads in that one, and I'm dealing. I'm kind of struggling with it, is for the simple reason is I love editing, and I love this. I didn't think I would, and now we're into it. And the more I do this, the more my other editing starts to fade away, you know, and, and I do feel bad. I look and I see three projects on the go and I have to do some editing for work stuff, but I, I'm kind of enjoying it, fulfill one way and like feeling a bit robbed by moments in the other. So I'm trying to hopefully in the next week or two, figure out what's the balance here for, to make it both work. So I don't know. Uh, uh, the only Go ahead. Sorry. No, you go right ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, the only editing I'm doing is I'm working on a, a a project using the, I don't know if you're familiar with the, a PS4 and like uh, some of the editing software that's on there. And I've heard about it, but I'm not, I'm not familiar with it. No, maybe you could explain it to everybody. Here. All right. I'm using their uh, uh, Sony uh, PlayStation 4's editing software called Share Factory. So I'm going to take clips from games I'm going to play and try to make a project out of it. So that'll be a way to promote our Twitch channel as well, because we're not going to have any gaming on YouTube, just Twitch. Right. So a lot of the rest of the stuff is live streaming because uh, Twitch, I'm going to pretty much generally be live streaming and then just putting together this edited video just for uh, promotional reasons. I already got like the intro done, but yeah, editing, yeah, it's not my forte, but I'm learning as I going. The software is pretty intuitive, so you pretty much get all the tools that you need. Sony makes it fairly easy to be able to take clips from videos, edit it down, just be able to organize them and clips and then how it plays and fast forward. And yeah, they make it pretty easy, though. I think they take probably they have because they have their editing software. Was it called Sony Vegas? I think it's called that you can buy. Uh, the, PC. Uh, I'm not sure. Memory. I just use a play memory. I just use Share Factory. That's free, so I don't have to pay anything for it. Oh, okay, okay. Because I thought maybe it was kind of a cut down version of you know where uh, like it a, might be branch off. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Because Sony Vegas was a pretty good program. I actually used it one time. There was a point where I was done working for a music company and I didn't have any like legitimate Adobe stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had that, and I remember working with it, thinking it was pretty decent. That was a couple of years ago. And then, so they probably built in the technology and got, like, three different versions, you know, one for the phone, you know, all different levels of stuff. So so that will be cool, though. Uh, when do you think you'll have a, you know, any, like, uh, uh, time, frame? time frame for it? Um, I hope to get it done in within the next three months. I'm just trying to focus more on, like, getting Twitch going and building the YouTube channel. This is just a side project I'm doing, so I'm keeping myself pretty busy. Oh. And yeah, just uh, how much we've grown too. I've never really expected it. So I kind of get like the whole PO box and all that stuff sorted out too. So yeah, a lot of stuff's coming up. I, I can't believe the growth that's happened for like channels like yours and ours and the, like a lot here in the channel. It, 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 it mm -hmm. absolutely is mind blowing. Mm -hmm. the whole world. I don't think no. even James uh, really expected no. the way he glowed no. up and the way we kind of branched off and, and, and now building, you know, on each other and going yeah. with our own thing as well. Right. Once you put it out there, I think it's pretty much out of control where it lands. And, yeah. and, and right now it's flying in a pretty good direction. Because so. you can have the best con in the world, you can be the best presenter, but it's still a lot of luck. You know, mm -hmm. it's throwing it to the wall and hoping you can put enough glue that it might stick. Right. How many times have we heard a singer on a street corner thinking this guy's better than anybody I ever heard on a radio. Right. <laughs> he didn't get the break. His car broke down on the way to the studio that day and walked the gig. There's so many ways that you can lose all right. these things. And we're like that too, you know? Right. And then for us, what was really impressive, I think um, 
well, it's today's Thursday. I think 19 days ago we were under 400 supporters, and now we're I think we've more than doubled. It was in 19 days. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Uh, because uh, it was. Yeah, it was a. Uh, I uh, screenshotted uh, my phone when I passed 400. I wanted to uh, just to share. We passed 400. Yay! Congratulations to everybody who uh, helped us make it possible. Yeah, I'm seeing 814 right now. But yeah, just the growth has been incredible for you guys, especially Mill Hill, Saint Auto, Angel Dominique, Kahim Mini, us, everybody. It's been incredible. Well, and you know, it's nice to have a lot of these faces back again. You know, and you're seeing the same, I'm sure, in your stream as well, guys that you remember pretty mm -hmm. much from the beginning. That means a lot because it's nice to have new guys. I like new people seeing it. But it's a comforting thought to know that some people still actually do like you. They didn't just go for the sub. They actually stayed around for you, what you are. And that, that's a great feeling, in my opinion. Right. And then with our live streams, too, there's so many benefits. Even for some reason, you don't like me. But you're, you're just like, oh, I hate everything about Marco. I hate this guy so much. I really hate him. But I'm going to just be here because there's so much positivity from other people I may like. It's just there's so many benefits in terms of... Well, for our live streams, we just set new records in our live stream that we just got done before we came on here. Just everybody was just loving it. Everybody can find new people to meet. Even if they just missed the uh, I'm a creator live stream or your live stream, they can still meet new people. They can still support each other. And yeah, we're just going to keep setting new records and hopefully set more milestones for people too. A big thing is people within the chat set their own milestones and everybody's just excited for everybody else. And everybody wants to see each other succeed and grow. Yeah. There's been no negativity. When somebody says, oh, I just hit 900, people are cheering them on. You know, there's exactly. always going to be a couple of miserable ones, but guess where they are? They're sitting on their own channel with two other people hating everybody else that's getting ahead. So, <laughs> and that's always been my opinion about that. So right. Let them hate. They're not hurting me any. <laughs> that's right. TikTok's tweeting our uh, stream away. Oh, uh, okay. Retweeting, sharing, and liking. Thank you so much. My God. Uh, uh, Milton Manmower was saying that his phone is, keeps beeping yeah. over and over and over. So thank you so much. James almost had a fight with Twitter today. We had to send one of his messages across because he sent so many. He was really pushing everything today. Yeah, he so. was banned for a couple hours. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> It's such a James thing. I love it. Oh, it's, great. it's great to have yeah. such support, and he's right. We gotta keep tweeting out right. and, and sharing so everybody. Can and we see all it. all I am a creator because I mean that's where we all kind of cut our teeth in all this. Mm -hmm. And even though we don't say it through the whole stream, we're kind of more on story based. I do try to bring it up at least every fifteen minutes for anybody new that's in here, and for anybody old to remember. I stress that too. Just because we've been growing doesn't mean we can't support new ones. Because when we started. It was channels our size and your size that we went to hoping they would give us a chance. Mm -hmm. so it's very important for us to give the one with 10 and 20 and 75. Yes. We got to pay it forward as well as rece rece receive. So, right. Because that's how you build a community. It's not just being one way or the other. It's just giving a hand out to people who are still in the twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives. And it's even people are just starting to start out because a lot of people now, I want to see how many people are now making the decision to start the channel being like this and they see something that's really encouraging it's like wow in the first week i got a hundred this is incredible yeah. they probably never thought they'd get a hundred in a year or something like that a hundred percent that's why when some of them do have or i'm in a channel like yours like i'm just saying just an example i'll try to mention that once in a while you know i was only 42 in february it's not for bragging rights it's to tell them don't give up here's living proof flying right by you you know like because i know sometimes now they'll look at mine the way i used to look at the other ones oh god 1200 well the hell with this I'm not, you know but that's not true i was also, just two months ago i was where you were or less even some of them you know uh, like, right and i tell people at the beginning of the year i was at 10 or 12 supporters at the beginning of the year i was right where you were at and within just all past around 100 days look where we're at there's no reason why you can't do it either it's motivation and it's proof and it's not like we went and bought our views or anything like that we did it the hard way and they can do it the hard way too and they'll get right. there and then paying and now for Hey. Sorry, go ahead, Andrew. Go ahead. No, it's just good that now that you and I and a couple of us have broken up because we're given we're given like between you and me and James and uh, Mill uh, Mill Hill and all these guys, they got all kinds of groups now to go to that they didn't have as much back when we started. It's the old back in the day speech already. Is only right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just uh. I lost my train of thought. It's like, uh, like I was saying before, yeah, now you have like a bunch of different groups to go to. And it's uh, like you're saying before, we didn't pay for any of it because paying to boost your number by the red button is like paying for imaginary friends. That's really, it's yeah. still point. Yeah. Oh, God, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> my God, he's got the sound bites tonight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you heard it here, Apusha, 97.7.7. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I it love is. it. Then they come up yeah. like that. I love it. <laughs> I'm getting jealous here. Oh, you know speaking of that, I got to cut you off. 
And once now that we're talking live to live, I got to say this too. Last night, once again, I am so sorry. I never felt so bad in my life. I almost didn't even want to go on because then you had to talk to me for five yes, minutes. Yes, I did. Right. I, what happened is the live streams kept going out and you had that snow sign, you know, when it's all the snowy. So I didn't hear you anymore. And I was working in the next stream and I must have been clicking back. So when I got on later on and realized what happened, that's when I scrolled back up and I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Because I meant to put a second one because that's when I went back on and then got you on later on. And then I seen uh, animation. Uh, Blue, Blue Wizard. Blue, Blue Wizard, Wizard animation. Series. Yeah. And I see him saying, I'm like, well, what, uh, okay. I, he said, push it. So I'm like, oh, he said my name. I know him. So I said, <laughs> but I couldn't answer. And I'm like, okay, this has been, oh. So then I see what was written. I went back. So I really apologize because I never, ever, ever promote that or tolerate it on my own channel. I got very lax rules here, but I wouldn't. So once again, I am really, truly sorry. Yeah, he was very <laughs> upset about but it was right before It goes against the core of what I am. That's why mm -hmm. I felt so bad. And you were so nice about it. Yeah, yeah, so. I know. Mm -hmm. Because I, mean, I don't like disrespect. I wouldn't want nobody doing it to me. So I felt really bad about that. So. Right. And also, it's important to have the type of rules we have on our Verdict Squad streams just because we've had something really great going here. We're trying to keep it as nice as possible. It's like buying a new house, but let's just say, oh, I don't feel like cutting the trimming the lawn or doing anything or cleaning up. But we just want to keep everything in order. And yeah. it's important to give everybody a fair chance at support. And we just had issues with other people trying to do that. We're trying to especially teach people that don't just ask people for things. You'll never get anywhere like that. Don't just ask and they think you're just going to get it. The best way to grow your channel is to offer genuine support and actually do it and follow through with it. But that's what I meant. Like, I actually didn't even realize those other ones come up because we had another guy, Peter, uh, what's his name? Philip yeah, uh, Cochran. Cochran, yeah. Yeah, his, his things were all coming up doubles and triples last night, and I had to message him. Yeah, the night before. Like, oh it, was just, it was kind of glitchy. It was so an it was, accident, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, so, like, that's why it was, I, I was, oh, anyways, I was disgusted. <laughs> I was so, <laughs> so we're about to go on, and she's like, he knows you didn't mean it. You told him twice, and that's what I wrote you on Twitter as well. Because <laughs> like, it mm -hmm. matters to me what people think, you know what I mean? Like, uh, integrity, no, and integrity yeah. is everything we've had on here, especially if I wouldn't do it, so. But you brought up a good point about uh, keeping, like, um, it, it's working with each other without stepping on each other's toes. And there's a lot of people anxious, too. And we that's why I've kind of watched the mods here, because I had some that were just starting to ban right away. Like, you know, give, they were like, you know, a guy would say, I want to be subbed. Give them once or twice at least to tell them, like, you know. <laughs> but some right. of them, they get the, the wrench by their name, and they start going on a banning spree. And it's like, oh, we still need people. <laughs> power trip. Here. They got that power trip then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's never changed. Even MIRC years ago was always like that. As soon as the wrench mm. came out, it's like <laughs> they get, like, superpowers <laughs> all of a sudden. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have a lot of support here too. People are talking yeah, about yeah, how yeah. much they have been growing. Uh, it's amazing. You know, there are still questions, obviously, about how to get on the playlist. And James put the link in if anybody is not a part of it just yet. Uh, we're all going to also have James on as the 30 minute segment yep. uh, uh, very, very soon, uh, once a week. Uh, so you can get all your updates. And I'm a creator. Uh, yeah, so people just talking about how much it has uh, sh uh, helped, like blindly, honestly, says that it went from 70 to 133 uh, since they found a tag. Uh, you know, it's it's Jeez. it's amazing. Uh, JJ, of course, uh, thank, uh, thank you, yeah, by the way. Um, everyone should really appreciate this awesome community that is really helping smaller channels rise to the top, says Joey, uh, and you're so right. Um, yes, it's been amazing, exactly. And I think we all have our all like we we all start to have our own niches, the ones who have been with the community for almost the start, yeah. you know. So so you're right. Nobody's stepping on each other's toes, and we're helping the smaller channels now because we were there as well. It's like I oftentimes see, well, I'm never gonna get to the thousand, and that's mm. where we were two yeah. months ago. Yeah. So you know, just look at us uh, or anybody really. Uh, well, I thought of Verdict Squad when he said 400. Yeah, that was one of those exactly. milestones that we had for one day, and the next day was 379. Yeah. And then you want to just take the laptop and throw it out the nearest window, but then you yeah. get going again. You need your day to. Sometimes it's good to walk away for for a day and say, you know what. I'm taking 24 hours away from this because it can get very in, uh, you can get very um, uh, in, uh, immersed into it. Yeah. But you can't see the forest for the trees anymore. And it's going to take breaks. So you can't live Black on Black Rock EDM was uh, tweeting me too. Like, oh, oh, we lost like six subs yesterday and somebody else tweeted, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, 60 are gone in a day. Exactly. And, and like, yeah. you know, 
and, and it's understanding that it's upsetting when mm -hmm. you have like a few subscribers. We're still we still do get discouraged sometimes. I mean, you know, we're not in millions. <laughs> and, and then like verdicts, but, uh, like Marco's smile right there is a great example. We know too. The bigger you get, the more losses you take. Yeah, exactly. You know? So anybody so. out there that has the same issue, don't fret. Uh, it's all part of it. And and by the way, asking, um, I still like that you are branching off to Twitch because I always thought that it's not good to have eggs all in one basket right because of algorithms mm -hmm. because of it's always changing you know look at the facebook now flip, flipping over on business pages like you really might as well not have it there you know right, because right. it doesn't really show up uh everything is changing all the time so i always believe in having it like in in, in places uh in different places so i like that you're uh, branching up into twitch uh, for those of us who don't really know what is it or how to even get it, can you talk more about what is it, what, how is it different, and why did you choose to do it on Twitch as well as on YouTube? Sure. Well, Twitch is pretty much a live streaming platform for those who wish to live stream and reach a much different audience. Now, you can't upload regular videos, but to become monetized on Twitch through their Twitch affiliate program, and eventually there's a Twitch partner level as well. You have to have live stream, I think it's seven seven unique days in the last 30 days, at least a minimum of eight hours in the last 30 days, have 50 followers and had, hold an average of three viewers during your live streams. So it's much more reasonable in terms of their metrics to be able to be monetized. They aren't as strict in terms of their copyright strikes and just people telling you that you can't do this or that. And overall, it's a much more unique community. And I just actually have a lot of fun streaming on Twitch. And it's good to have, like you said, like diversified audience to get to and branch out. And it's like I said before, eventually I want to just like do VO acting. I mean, eventually, hopefully if we can become a bigger uh, success story on YouTube, I'm already talking about big success stories, these big grandiose plans. But anyway, if we uh, go to towards like seven or eight figures, like I would be able to just like set up some sort of consulting arm to just try to really teach people how to do this the right way and to build a a positive sustainable audience is not just about the numbers it's about people so mm -hmm. the reason why too i also like twitch as well is just because you get to really just have like more fun just live streaming as well and it's just to be able to introduce yourself and to really just build your brand and not just being tied to one platform because like you said you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and even as big as you are on youtube it could just be gone that day and it's good to at least have something one other thing to fall back on well look at the ad apocalypse i mean how many people lost money Mm -hmm. big guys because they had their eggs all in one basket and hence why they're going to twitch or starting their own platforms and doing all these things was that exact reason you're 100 percent right do you, do you think that it, uh, there is a different type of audience for twitch and youtube mm. uh yes because twitch is more for people who want to really just who enjoy watching live streams more than just regular videos youtube is just kind of like your standard video sharing uploading platform because between youtube and twitch i don't see facebook ever being a competitor at all daily yeah. motion i'm surprised still exists yeah. uh, and twitch is really the yeah twitch is really the competitor to it and uh it twitch is owned by amazon so they're probably going to be the big competitor and i have also said this too within five years there'll be more live streaming content than regular videos i don't think regular videos will be around much longer and i've said that before on my streams I, I agree with you. Yeah I, yeah, I agree. And I think it, we can see it already building up to that, that people more and more is doing lives. And I would just was thinking, too, it's kind of go back to the, that uh, certain time of the day where you have to be there. Like we used to be with TV, you, yeah. know? Uh, you know, at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, there was a certain program you wanted to see. You didn't want to miss it unless unless you recorded it. So which is the same thing with uh, live streams, you know, you know, at a certain time and certain yeah. person is going to be live, you want to be there, you don't want to miss it if you want to have interaction. And yes, you couldn't, you know, watch recorded part after, but it's kind of goes uh, full circle around again. Definitely. Well, uh, look I at you. It. Like, I mean, YouTube, I see adjusting very big. And right now, YouTube is like the ultimate search engine. Yeah, more than Google. Biggest, uh, you know? Yeah, it's the second biggest. Search and that's a sign right of the now. times to come. And this is just like a intermediate stage. It is going to be live. I agree. Where you can mm -hmm. actually go and get questions answered by a real mechanic, a real plumber, a real that's right. coming very, very soon. Paid, you know, paid ad advice and stuff, walkthroughs. Oh, I want to put a motherboard in my computer and add a new hard drive. You're going to be able to go and get somebody to actually sit with you and watch you do it and, and talk you through yeah, it. Yeah, and human interaction, not just bots, because right now, like on the website right. and stuff, you, you get that live chat accessibility but oftentimes it's a bot so uh, i think we oftentimes are lacking this human interaction which live streams <laughs> are uh giving us Definitely. so i would agree for sure for what you're saying mm -hmm. well, and then youtube i don't think oh go ahead andrew sorry no, go no, ahead no, no, you go ahead please 
Uh, yeah, because I think YouTube is going to be adversely effective just because of how they treat most of their creators. And most of them are smaller creators. They're not the big, bad actors that they try to prop up and the celebrities and the talk show hosts. Eventually, well, I can say this right now. I have a theory behind why you see so many of these uh, random videos get millions of views. Personally, because um, Google, they have access to a lot of search engine optimization tools. And in order to meet the obligations of big guys and taking their money, I believe they're arbitrarily and artificially raising the numbers of view counts and the sub counts because I don't, I can't imagine there are 43 million people thinking that a prank video is awesome. There's no way 43 million real people are watching that. I think they're just arbitrarily raising it themselves in order for it to go higher in the search results and to meet their obligations. But I kind of got off track there, but no, no. it just is frustrating to see that because I know that there's no way that 43 million people are watching this. There's just no way. PewDiePie, when he was asked at 60 million, you know, if you figure some of his numbers were bots, and even he said right away, he goes, how could it not be? He said even, yeah. you know, not saying he did it, but even channels trying to build them up at the time, YouTube could have even bought them up, who knows, so. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, like you say, that's a lot of a lot of people in the world sitting down to watch one person. Yeah, that's just, in a prank video, too, out of all things, there's no way no. 43 million people are watching it. You see big primetime tv shows they don't even get anywhere close to that you only see 43 million consistently for maybe like the super bowl and yeah. that's once a year you're telling me that a prank video a random prank video on some big channel who pays youtube a bunch of money gets yep. 43 million views you, you're telling me that's real come on well come that's on, what man. the networks got involved their own the youtube networks were pushing them and banding together and pushing them up in the ranks and what youtube started to be the anti-tv movement really youtube has become that themselves and that's why people are starting yep, to walk yep. away from it. They've become what they always said they were against. Uh, in my, right. my humble opinion. Right. And also, why do you think they call them initially subscribers? It's like subscribing to a cable service or yeah. channels like you have on cable. It's been... Right. Yeah. We're on the same page, my friend, on that one. <laughs> I agree mm -hmm. with you. Uh, yeah, people are, are agreeing about, about the crazy views, uh, you know, like 4.1 million views of, yeah. of the routine of the pet in the morning, uh, you know, morning uh, routine to the, and stuff like that. But um, we had a little bit of uh, disagreeing with what I said about the uh, video uh, edit or lives mm. here going on. Yeah. Uh, people are more uh, saying that the, the regular videos, edited videos, are still going to be there, although lives are growing. I didn't say that they're no. going to disappear completely. Just I the do, ratios are going to change. I, yeah, I do yeah. agree, though, mm -hmm. that the ratios are going to change, the same as we have changed our patterns of watching regular TV with regular TV mm -hmm. guys without PVR. Well, how much of that really exists but now? We said that last night about our daughter, who's seven. Like, when we go visit my parents, she can't wrap her mind around the idea that she's got to wait to watch The Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> she's never grown yeah, up with that's the you know, it's like I'll right. speak the Greek. <laughs> yeah, and also I think uh, there's more and more of even with businesses, as you guys mentioned, the businesses are going to still do edited videos. Well, more and more, for example, in the wedding videography, you can see that the uh, businesses do live editing. Mm -hmm. So you do editing while you are live, and I mm -hmm. think that is going to be the merge of the editing part of the video and doing live, yeah. which is raw and untouched. There's going to be a merge of that because it's already starting there. Um, so I think right. that's going eventually. People want to see more unfiltered real content. They like seeing it in real life. They don't just want something that's just edited and just feels like it's a front and it's fake. People want more raw, real content. That's what people are going to, especially younger people. Yeah, yes, definitely. Exactly, for sure. exactly. For sure. There'll always be a home for everything before everybody argues again, don't worry. Like there'll always be somewhere for some. It's just the ratios are gonna change. That's our prediction. Right. Not tomorrow, but it's, no. it's, you can always because there'll always be pattern, songs yeah. recorded. We always need songs, we always need something to look at. So there'll always be pictures, there'll also be edited video, there'll also be music that will be available. It's just the way we see them is gonna be in different amounts of each. The same as we used to watch everything over the air and then everything went through cable and then everything went through satellite. There's a natural progression we're all going through. My mm -hmm. children are 20, 11, and 7, and you would not believe how different their upbringings are in those years. Mm -hmm. Like my son grew Does up like a mouse and thinking that was the world's beat, you know, and then my son was on a laptop, my 11-year-old, and now my daughter, everything is touchscreen pretty much. So just mm -hmm. shows you 20, those, that small age gap. It's not like years ago where everything changed every 200 years or 50 years. We go through a revolution right, literally you see every six months. Right, it's pretty much like a parabola. You see the change, 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 and now you're seeing this. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's picking up speed, yeah. You buy a new It's phone. great. I, and oh, then that's why I'm more optimistic. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, if you buy a new phone, 
there's a new phone coming out in six months to replace that one, and there's two other ones in development as that one came on the shelf. It's already obsolete the day you put your money onto it. Right. And yeah. uh, it's like I said before, uh, the only thing that's constant in this world is change, but also another point, seeing how many kids that we have, especially on our, our live streams too, and how much they want to learn and how inspired they already are, I'm more optimistic about our future than ever before because kids are actually interested in this. Yeah. And I want to see people younger than me be able to pay it forward to the next generation. So I see younger kids being a different generation than me, even though the big media call us all millennials. I don't think we're all the same. Now, Ooh. does the label matter? Of course not. But it's just in terms of kids who are coming up to becoming an adulthood. It's just trying to give them a hand up and pay it forward. Definitely. Do you mind if I ask what age, if you don't want to give your age, but your age group, but if you're comfortable with that? You're 27. <laughs> 27. Yep. Senya's right. Yep, 27. How the hell did you know that? <laughs> because I follow his videos. I know oh, it. God. I know yeah. it. <laughs> well, I forget my own age half the time, so don't forget. I'm 44. And... Mm. Uh, you know, even between our ages, there was a big gap in there, like in the in the technologies available. And just to think, right now, I can do this. If I was a kid and I could just plug in a camera and start broadcasting, I would have been on this like 24 hours a day back then. I, I don't know if I'd ever graduated high school if I was said this back then. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, a, also another inspiring thing. For me, the only thing I use in all my videos, it's one $120 phone. That's it. Perfect. That's, that's, it. that's really good. It's, it's exactly. a little overhead. What a, what a so. return on investment. Exactly. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. They're not phones anymore. We call them phones. They're cameras that you can talk through once in a while. Almost nobody talks in them anymore. When you think right, about so it, one of the least used features on the whole thing is the actual phone itself. Right. I just call it this. I just call it a future device. It's pretty mm -hmm. much like a future and how everything is going to be in terms of everything's just going to be available in your hand. It's amazing, isn't it? Or in your eye. In your eye, yeah. <laughs> or eye. Or skin <laughs> pad, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I Google, Google Glasses failed terribly. But I, I think uh, they're going, uh, uh, you know, with a, with a, uh, a lens now that you can, everything is going to be um, projected there. It's already out there. It's just not uh, for popular population oh. yet. But I, oh, I see that coming. Don't get her speculating or we'll be here I really midnight. don't think we're going <laughs> to have... That's the Eastern European. No, and there's I always don't... a catch and something's around the back. That we I didn't really know. don't <laughs> think we're not going to have any of these gadgets as, as things anymore. I think it's going to be implemented within us. So we don't need those things. That's why VR is there. That's why augmented reality is coming so, so much well, in, in a play and so on. Also, what's going to come next for 5G when that's implemented, uh, devices will be able to communicate and talk to each other. They won't be just separate islands anymore. Everything will just be with its own ecosystem, the Internet of Things that's already happening. Yep. Right. Agree. Integration. Exactly. Seamless mm -hmm. integration. You know? Right. I, I was, we were talking, uh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, uh, where with my phone, I can already stream a YouTube video from my phone to my PS4, my uh, gaming console on my TV. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I know. I, we do that with my son showed me the other week uh, the last summer how to run my uh, use my phone to control my uh, TV with uh, Google running so we can like you know when listening to music and that that you can sit out on your chair and your gal on your outside deck and control the TV inside that's playing the music on YouTube right remote yeah uh, i remember that that was amazing yeah. i was just looking at like oh mom and oh my god you can do that too but they're growing right up with it they're at that age that so they don't even think anything of it you know they just learn it as something like this is just what i need to get by today they don't make a big deal about it anymore because it's so integrated into their psyche oh my god we got to say good shout shout out to milhelm madmower is going to be 46 tomorrow so All tomorrow, right. tomorrow we're gonna sing happy birthday for yeah. you. Today was broke. Tomorrow, yeah. there we go. You know? There we go. Big bird of clap. I love it. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. I love that. I was waiting for like an hour to get to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. You created your own signature. Yes. I know. It just uh, it started unintentionally. It's just because I was just really happy to see people actually show up to my first live stream because initially I was just going to make it a private live stream because I'm working on a collab with somebody else. Okay. I couldn't do a private live stream through Google and we couldn't connect through Google Hangouts. So I just figured, hey, can we just do a public live stream? We'll just if anybody wants to join us, they can. And uh, I just started clapping for everybody. I was just that happy to see everybody. And then here we are now, almost that a month is, later, started live streaming. <laughs> that is really cool. And I mean, people, if people, we had to even the volume off, and all you can do is my hand doing this. They almost know it's like a, it's like a sign, like a, like a gang sign for verdict squads in the host. You know? uh, exactly. <laughs> 
So you you live pretty much where you grew up? Pretty much. Now, yeah, I grew up, um, if you're not familiar with uh, northern Ohio, there's uh, the river called the Cuyahoga River. There's uh, It dictates the west side of Cleveland and the east side of Cleveland and the right. big major city that's around me. I grew up on the east side, and then I recently moved to the west side four years ago. So I've oh. lived on the west side ever since. But you're still close to your parents and that? You get to see your family? Uh, my parents are. My parents live uh, still uh, on the east side of Cleveland. They live about an hour away, and my brother uh, lives out of state. Oh, okay, okay. But at least you're still close enough to get together, I hope, now and then. So, Well, for holidays, we can. See, for us, my I live eight hours away from my parents. And mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in, they call it the Gatsby Sea, which is eastern Quebec, where the St. Lawrence Seaway comes in from the Atlantic. There's like right. A, so that's where I'm from. And, uh, well, Port Xenia, it's a 12-hour flight, so I guess that's even worse. Seven, seven <laughs> yeah. miles, so, eight hours. <laughs> it's a long way from home, that's for sure. So. <laughs> Well, my home is here now, so. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we um, went. We went on a video game. I don't know if you knew that. You did. I did not know that. Yeah, a game called Second Life. Really? Well, how did you uh, create a uh, Second Life? I I think I've heard of it. I didn't know you guys invented it. Are you guys the producer? Or you just invented the script, or how did that no, come no, to be? We, we literally met playing the game. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. So no, there you go. No. It's just a. You know, they, like any of those three D round games that drop everybody in the same spot when you start. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We got dropped together and just kind of stayed friends and hated the game, so we just always kept in contact with email and everything else and all that. And that's where just for a long time, and then finally, it was time to make my way over. And I said, I'm going over. I was married before, and that was all done. And I just wanted to. Worst case, like I mean, I say it now. If it didn't work out, well, I had three months in Europe and, you know, a place to stay that was safe and I'll come back home. And it worked, <laughs> if it worked out, well, here's the proof today, you know, many years later. So Got a souvenir yeah. from Europe. So. That's right. <laughs> Some people, he likes yeah. all things Soviet. Yeah, so that's a little, right. A little less. Yeah. It was either her or a fridge magnet. So. <laughs> yeah. Or shirt. Sure, I went to Europe for three months and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is lousy. <laughs> Oh, oh I'll God. have to rewrite my vows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do a oh, vow I'm sorry. That was so funny. <laughs> no, that's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, that would be so funny. No. What a way to get divorced and have a laugh at the same time. There you go. Do that one. <laughs> oh, God almighty. That was funny. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. sorry. Yeah, there are a couple about. of people uh, in the chat too that uh, remember Second Life uh, mm. brings up memories, and also uh, like bl uh, blindly, honestly, have met her husband uh, in online as well. Oh, yeah, cool. there are lots of people, uh, friends nice. too, that have uh, done that. So that's amazing. See, I was at the first part when my friends started the online dating craze. Like I was married, so I used to laugh at them all the time, and oh my oh, god, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, well, I got a lot to talk about. I just took off on a 12 hour flight. So I guess yeah, I got to start my dating, dating website. No. So that's a difference. You know, we just happened to start talking yeah. the same as we would. On but the it's a kind of cool thing. You never know in the world where you get to meet people now. You know, yeah. that's another thing. I mean, you got to be careful. And we talked on Skype a lot, but people can fall into traps. But you have catfish. To be yeah. They don't want to get catfished. Yes, yes exactly. exactly. Phil DeFranco was catfished. Did you know that? No, I didn't actually. I might have heard of it, but I don't, I'm not too familiar with the story. That's I just heard that the other day. I don't follow him all the time, but yeah, that's what led him. He moved to from Florida to New York, or vice versa, for a girl, and found out it was some 14 year old kid years ago before <laughs> he got. That's how he started online. Was kind of around that time. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Corn Life Network, right? Butterfly Brook found me. I found the dream. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Aww. Uh, <laughs> they're so amazing. They're so amazing. Uh, they, you can see it when they talk to each other. Their eyes, like uh, yeah, uh, I know. Uh, oh, there is a hi to Red Exact from Gorilla Bear Tech. Oh, good. That's a great channel, by the way. Gorilla hey, Bear. Yeah, that's uh, Tony. He's a really uh, he's a funny guy. I love uh, talking to him on our live streams. Yeah, he's a really down to earth guy. And uh, yeah, we talk about like uh, wrestling, working out. He wants to lose weight. But, yeah, I'm just trying to help him out with that. That's nice. There's the there's the next level of grouping in here. That, that that's what I like to hear stories like that. You know, you're gone now. You've joined, and that shows that you guys have a bond now, and it will grow with like a common interest or 
goals. Right. I've, I'm actually, I'm really surprised how many common interests I have with a lot of people in the chat. And I just, I remember things about their life or maybe if they're going through something or they're maybe in the hospital, I just remember that and just try to follow up with them. That's important to try to keep track of everybody and what's going on in their lives outside of YouTube. You have a sick memory. Sometimes, honestly, you remind me of Rain Man. I watch you go and it's like, <laughs> how the hell does he remember all these little tidbits? Rain it's man. like, you know, oh, Johnny, you had three jelly beans last night. It's like, well, how the hell did he know that? And it's like, like what? two days ago. <laughs> it, it's, it's uncanny. I, my hat's off to you because I can barely remember I'm online. Oh, online. I can't either. <laughs> yeah, now I can. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> I'm actually I, wearing I, a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know how you do it. Have you always been good with memory? Because it's it's um yeah, pretty much my whole life, and it's just really just listening to people. I've always been very good at math and uh, having a strong memory, and it's just really just practicing. Because really, before I got really good at math, I was terrible at math. I just had to work at it, and right. I had a tough time in school. But you know, it just takes a lot of work. It's a, whether it's a YouTube or anything. I just took the mindset that I had in my whole life to just work as hard as I can and do it on YouTube, which is why you see me being very active and ambitious and being really interactive with people. Uh, you said you were bad at math. How did you choose accounting? Yeah, you were bad I, at math. You read my right. I to do this too. <laughs> well, fortunately, I got really good at math way before I decided my major. This was just as a little kid. And then even just within a year, I got really good at math. And I started, I remember... Um, we had this competition in school. I was like in uh, fourth grade and we were, uh, it was just a special thing. It was against the grade eight versus grade four. I was in grade four and I would just pretty much win against all the eighth graders. I just remember that one day. <laughs> you've, okay. al you, you've always had a bit of a competitive streak too, like not in a bad way, but you, like drive. I can see that. Yes. Eh? That's been with mm -hmm. you early in life, you'd say? Pretty much. I've always been more ambitious and wanted to do a lot with my life. I mean, it's just, uh, I just want to be able to do as much as I can and learn as much as I can. That's why Whenever I do something, I just go for it. Whether it's just, you know, people saying, oh, well, the CPA exam is really hard. You'll never pass it. I also thought about getting uh, going for the Mensa test as well if I have time. Wow. That, that, is that something you think you're going to be doing in the near future? Uh, when I get time, I hope so. I mean, uh, the way it works for Mensa, it's an international organization. But for uh, the U.S., uh, they have certain uh, sections where they can have the test in. So there's different testing centers. But the closest one's like 45 minutes away. It's just that's the way it worked out. I just have to find time to go do it, and they usually have them in the morning. I'm not really a morning person to get up early in the morning, but you know, I've thought about doing it because I've taken a practice test, and I think I could do well at it. So who knows? Well, it's worth a try. Yes, I mean, exactly. I, I, yeah. I talked to you for you. You know, that, that's a lot of ambition, and it's great. It, it's amazing, yeah. and that's well where your energy for motivation and inspiring other people, I think, stems from. I picture him in high school selling cookies for some event and like knocking all the competition right out of the water. Yeah. I think that's why I was asking a while ago. <laughs> you think you I like me? Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, it's just like also me too. I think um, I remember. Uh, even as a kid in fourth grade as well, I remember uh, my mom used to pack my lunch. I never really, I rarely got the lunch at school, but what she did, she always packed too much and then people would want to buy the lunch off of me and I used to sell it. And I would just yeah. like pocket, I would just make so much money doing that. I was going to get back to those days. I knew there was, I was, I was I, it's amazing once you get to know so you get a bit of a feel. And that's great. I, I grew up in a small rural area and we were always kind of go-getters, always like, working on farms and the day we weren't working on a farm we were out picking bottles and selling them or we picked these things called fiddleheads i showed them last night they're little ferns that we eat and we would sell them in potato bags 100 pounds of them at a time sometimes like nine bags a day till our fingers would bleed so mm -hmm. when i first came to the city i was very and my college was in a very uh yeah affluent i would say decently affluent area and I see kids crying because they had to cut the lawn and it takes them like 15 minutes. Like, my God, if you see my father's lawn, that took me five hours with a push, you know, oh. I mean, and you would not want to be bawling. Yeah. Or, it wouldn't end well. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I remember I, growing up where I lived, a, a push mower would take you around five hours. Actually, I had such a huge lawn. I used yeah. to hate cutting the grass because it wasn't much, but it just took so long with a push mower and I didn't have a tractor. Mm -hmm. It just was so tough. Mm hmm. We got a tractor afterwards, and when the tractor broke down, like I prayed for death because I knew what was coming. You know, it's like God, please let me get this thing running. If there's any God above, so I can get this without the push lawn mower. Bits of real panther was selling cigarettes in high school. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> nice panther. <laughs> yeah, and I was selling cigarettes too in college. We'll call it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> there's, one, there's your one little inbid into me for oh <laughs> my god uh, but yeah. i wanted to say about motivation um, yeah. i was thinking about that earlier and and you expanding and branching out in, into all these things you mentioned and we talked about the voice and how motivating it sounds and the clapping you would be great and having an app you know like there are apps for mindfulness and yeah. relaxation it would be great to have you as a, as a voice clips for motivation and inspiration. You know, when people have to do really, really, really something anxious or they have to do exam and then you just push play and you have mm -hmm. like two minutes of you talking, you've got to go do it, you know, like the way you're doing it on your live streams. I think that would really, really captivate people to have it because there are tons of these relaxation apps and very little of inspiring motivation. Uh, definitely really another source of revenue at least. <laughs> There you go. Just to get royalties from the app, I gotta find an app developer. Just uh, go to beta, and then yeah, just yeah. Uh, if you uh, you know the uh, the stock that we have, whatever how we set it up, vest or we go public or something like that. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. It's just something interesting. I never really thought of uh, just using uh, just motivational speaking in an app. I don't know how the market would be. If it's a good demand there, I would definitely consider it. I I would definitely have that because there's uh, you know if there's demand for relaxation before bed, I'm sure there's a demand for people that want that inspirational boost. There are yeah. tons of people that go on these workshops for inspirational speeches and masterminds and all that. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of time and mm -hmm. money. This would be like a fast fix for right. something that is right on the there. You know, I think you should look into that. <laughs> She's Definitely. Back. And uh, the funniest thing is you just see these like uh, guys who are just like, uh, who's like, your life begins today, your life, your life, your life. And you just see them with like the headset, you see them standing on a stage. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, it, today's, the day, today's the beginning of the rest of the day of your life or something like that. Just seeing like a preacher almost. Like that's just people's imagination of it. But just having actually more, something more come across as genuine and just something that's readily accessible, but it provides that premium boost that you need, that motivation that you need. You don't have to go through a seminar and book travel and then you make hotel arrangements. You yeah. can just push a button and then you get the same thing. Exactly, exactly. yeah. We had, a, I was telling the other night with, uh, who was it, uh, Halos and he or Heavens and he uh, what is it? Halos it's and Heavens. I'm always going to get that wrong to the day I die. I love them to pieces, but I'll never pronounce it because it's I always put it backwards. Neil and Annalise. Yes, that's easier. <laughs> Annalise, yeah. yeah. And, uh, we had a store. I used to work for a large music company here. Uh, you know Marshall Amplifiers? Uh, I'm not aware of it, no. Okay, they're the big, big name in Marshall, like uh, for ACDC and all that. We were the brand when it came into Canada. I did all their marketing. And we had a dealer, across, well, had dealers all across Canada. We had this one guy in Edmonton, and he was like 70 years old, where all the music stores now are getting more corporate. He still wore a bow tie every day, the old tweed suit, had a store about 20 feet wide and 30 long. And he was so amazing, and he was by that old school selling style, like vacuum cleaners, guys. Mm -hmm. I would call him, you know, good morning, I'm from, you know, I'll call him back. Hey there, hi there, ho there, today's a day for sale today. And that's how he would answer the phone like that. <laughs> he was the funniest man I ever met. And no young guys would buy their guitars there, but they'd go buy their picks and all the stuff because they loved his personality for that stuff. Mm -hmm. But he was from that old school... You know, give out the speeches, give out. There was always like the one, two, three, the ABCs, you know. They just came from that era. It's, uh, and today it's more shysterish. Like back then, those guys were still good people. They just wanted to survive. They weren't looking like to to ruin you, you know. Right. It's kind of like a, now thing. it's like a, a Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross kind of thing now. Yes, the yes. ABC mindset. Yes. <laughs> Screaming for two hours with the hands going, you know, like drilling at your head like you're – it's uh, some sort of communist country trying to win you over. Right. It's like a boiler room kind of mindset too. It's like, hey, yeah. if you don't do this right now, somebody else will. How else are you gonna make some money? You're gonna be able to do it now. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's right. I'll just hang up. Are you gonna that's like? Why I keep picking my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you almost go into seizures watching them. You know. Right. That that old guy that we had one time, he was bothering my sales rep so much. He said he added a new piece to his place, and you had to see it. My Polish sales rep flies all the way out there. Lands in Edmonton Airport. It's one of those little tiny planes where you just walk out. There's no uh, air gate. It's mm -hmm. 7 in the morning. He puts his foot on the tarmac, and he hears a loud whistle. This guy had showed up to greet our sales rep with a whole local school marching band. There's like a 25-piece marching band marches our sales rep from the Edmonton Airport right through. And people are staring at my sales rep. They're taking pictures of him. They think some sort of royalty from another country's come. And it's like, okay, this is going, <laughs> this is going to the extreme to get to win them over. Uh, NFL. So let me guess who you go for. <laughs> oh, it's uh yeah, a lot of people says I'm a I'm a big uh, Philadelphia Eagles fan. So it was a really good year last year. We won the Super Bowl. 
So yes. I'm still excited about that. So it's funny too. We actually have some uh, rival uh, uh, teams or fans who are rival uh, rival teams within our division. I know um, for the CFL, I actually more, I probably would support more of the Tie Cats just because my family's there. Right. And then uh, I was just like to see them in a Grey Cup eventually. But yeah, yeah, I'm a big uh, football fan. So it was a great uh, year for us uh, Eagle fans and uh, the, all the other teams in our division. Just yeah, they love seeing us uh, win our su- first Super Bowl. Obviously, but yeah, it's, uh, it was a lot of fun this last year. Definitely. I, I didn't think that was your team at first. That's where you threw me off. But yeah, no, if that's your team, definitely was a great year for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we lived in Saskatchewan watching the Rough Riders, Rough Riders. Everybody putting the, 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 the watermelons on their heads and they're nuts out there. They're insane. They had a competition when we were at the member. Yeah. To make your town, uh, the, the, uh, Saskatchewan, the Rough Rider town of the year. And one town, like literally, Died their whole in there's a cent, uh, what do you call it the center street their main street yeah in green the square the square yeah, the, the, no the, the whole, whole road street, the whole main street <laughs> like two miles of was, green was green. wow right you're literally painting the town green don't paint yes. the town red paint it green they literally made it happen there's old grandmothers because out there it's Wahoo City you got these huge like Dodge pickups jacked up thirty five inches in the air and you got these old ninety year old grandmothers jumping in these things. And they got all their like uh, their, their their shirts on and their face painted green and their hair and it's like a Tuesday morning, two weeks away from a game. So, coming from Montreal, where I thought people were nuts here for hockey, man, they took the cake. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Uh, on the head. Yeah, right. In minus twenty degree weather, sometimes out there, like twenty minus twenty Celsius. If you want a watermelon in the middle of plus forty in Saskatchewan, you're never gonna get it because they're all bought out by fans of Saskatchewan yeah. riders, <laughs> rough riders. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wear them as hat. They told me out there what happened was they hired a new ad agency because they weren't filling the seats, and they looked at the team and they said, "Well, your team is really doing bad, <laughs> so it's hard to promote them." So they ended up deciding to go the other way and decided to start promoting the fans instead, and that's how that all started. So it was good mm-hmm. marketing in the end. You got the bad team, but you're the greatest fans. Right. Yes. It's a, our uh, NFL equivalent. I think I call them the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why I was going to ask you all about teams. I was curious. So uh, what's uh, what's got what do you got coming up in your channel for the next couple of weeks? Any uh, any besides the Twitch and that, any other things uh, coming on or going on that you're working on? Uh, besides Twitch and all our projects there, YouTube, we're going to uh, try to start our craft beer series. Uh, I already have like pictures for one beer that we have. It's for a brewery that probably most people don't know about. So we want to share that with everybody. Uh, we're working on a, a couple other beers for that. And then just continue with like our voiceovers. And then a lot of it's going to be, we're still obviously doing YouTube, but yeah, a lot of it's going to be getting Twitch built up. So it's just really trying to get people more, ease them into like seeing us more on Twitch and getting them used to it. Just to yeah. say, hey, part one's going to be on YouTube and then part two, we're going to be on Twitch. So right. nothing else is going to change because I'm trying to get people to at least set up a Twitch account and get them to start live streaming because a lot of people have resistance to live streaming for some reason. They just make yeah. up all these um, ridiculous excuses and they're just like, just start. You have to start somewhere. Like what's holding you back? I mean, come yeah. on. I, I agree. We were like that. I'll be the first to say it. It was the last thing in the earth. I ever wanted to do. I don't even like being in front of a camera. I really feel comfortable behind it. That's where I feel creative type of thing. But uh, once you start getting at it, though, you know, uh, like you're proof in the pudding as well. You know, you haven't been doing it forever, and look how far you've come along with it. So uh, we have two questions. Uh, James earlier was asking about Twitch. Um, if Twitch deletes content after seven days, is that why creators download their videos and put them on YouTube? um if you want to download them and put them on youtube that's one option you could do some people uh dual stream with uh, i think they use obs software i don't yeah. have that because i don't have a desktop and my laptop died so i just have mobile you can uh, stream simultaneously on both youtube and twitch if you'd like now yeah. twitch it's um again youtube is good for building an audience but twitch is going to be just tougher because if i just started on twitch i probably wouldn't be anywhere near where i am today yeah. so I mean, Twitch is a great platform. There's a lot of upside to it. And I'm just trying to get people to push on the live stream because Twitch, in order to become monetized, you have to live stream. You yeah. have to be able to do it. And there are certain metrics that have to be required for that. It's too bad about Vessel that is gone now. Do you remember them? Uh, no, I don't. They got bought out by uh, Comcast or somebody, I think. Don't quote me on it. That's where a lot of the other ones were going. And that was kind of neat because you actually got like the bigger ones are going, but they get paid for their channel directly. It would have like mm-hmm. a contract. 
and then it was a subscription base like three bucks a month and a lot of the vessel a lot of the twitch guys also did vessel so that sucks on it as the market shrinks but there will be new players coming into it all the time so uh then we have another question about supporters alan oxton dan was asking what do you think about supporters that don't support um in terms of those who you should think about who you support now here's what i say we offer support to a lot of different people knowing that not everybody is going to support us now it goes back to what i'm saying that i don't ask for anything in return i'm still going to keep doing what i'm doing if they want to support they will now not everybody is going to maybe some people for one reason or another either don't like your content or they're just doing it for numbers or whatever the reason is you can't really let that bother you and it's going also to integrate with that with just uh doing what you're doing just try to pace yourself and be patient and have fun with your content knowing that not everybody is going to be supporters i'm yeah. not going to be for everybody push is not going to be for everybody it's just the important thing is just to be positive supportive and have fun definitely and even if it's a content that i'm not so crazy about but i see somebody put a lot of effort into it i will have extra support for them at the same time too as i would for somebody i'm really crazy about i if they're lazy you know what it's their own fault like i still supported them i'll definitely give somebody a chance and mm -hmm. uh, it's up to them if they want to run with it or not you know i'm not going to chase people down but i'm also not going to blow them off because they put a lazy response i'll give them a try but you get what you put into it i believe i think it's like in a relationship you know you're not going to uh pull somebody down if they don't want to be a part of it no, yeah say, same there and in, in everything you're not going to force somebody to be your supporter if they are not interested in your content you're going to find the ones that are interested yep exactly I, I one channel we were on a couple weeks ago i think i brought that up on james's one night it was one of the only times i never subbed them was because they didn't like they didn't hurt they didn't comment and they had like 200 comments and they were on the channel oh please sub me sub me mm -hmm. everybody makes a mistake but i always go back and look two or three videos and okay now we're at four or five videos and they haven't done a single thing to anybody that went to their channel everybody makes a mistake but i don't reward that was the only time i wouldn't reward lazy and that one crossed the line for lazy for me i had a bad you know the old saying a bad feeling in your stomach about it and i'm just like you know what they don't even want to try so you know if they come to my channel mm -hmm. and don't like it so be it but at least look uh benjamin right. is asking verdict squad do you support channels that make content uh that uh, that you find uninteresting do you still support them what was the question so you were kind of breaking up could you repeat uh, that please for channels that make content that you find uninteresting me what i do for that is i give the person behind the channel a chance the reason why to me some people pick content for their channel is none of my business they could put on whatever they want for their channel if i see that a person is honest they have integrity and they're positive and they're passionate i will definitely give that person a chance and if i see that they really want to work for it and they really want to try i will support the person i may not like all of their content but i will support the person because to me the channel is the person not necessarily videos I don't like. It's not for me to say what's good or what's bad. That's subjective. It's whatever you want to put on your channel is fine. If I see that you're a good person and then you have, in terms of the attributes of you have personally aligned with what I try to go for in our channel, what we try to stand for, I will support you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and that's exactly it. Same we, here. you know, we can sit around if we were all painters, you might paint a different style than I do or verse or write different songs. <clears throat> but if you're if you're a true creator you do you can see somebody's passion and effort into something i still think mm -hmm. they should be rewarded for that even though it's not exactly your cup of tea and it also might be uh, you know after a while watching the videos you might uh, discover that you actually like it or you you enjoy you know yeah. talking with the person behind like we always go back to uh milk and lawn mowers because it's such a speciality channel that I would never thought of watching yeah. if I would just go over, okay, well, that's just not my cup of tea and go away. But as you say, giving a chance and trying to get to know the channel, you know, and, all, you know, finding maybe not the subject is your point of interest, but the way it's edited or the energy behind it, uh, you know, maybe that's what is interesting and giving a chance and, and, and seeing what's about. And now, you know, we support each other and, mm -hmm. I would have never thought I would be watching yeah. it or all the fishing channels, you know, like I, I like preparing fish. Mm. I don't like too much, you know, talk about fish, but yesterday it was, so, it was so amazing. You know, yeah. I would have mm -hmm. never thought about it. Mm -hmm. So always going to give a chance for sure. Definitely. Right. Because I'm trying to emphasize within our community, it's not necessarily just what you put on your channel as your content, but it's the person because we want to be a community of not just content creators, but also 
the person, the creator, because you really just get to know the person behind them. You put a face behind their content. It can be back to, you could be so passionate about something. You could have the greatest content in the world, but if people don't know you as a person and you're a nameless face to people, mm -hmm. most people aren't going to give you a chance because they don't know you as a person. Definitely. That's a very good point. Yeah. Best friend in your thread is, is saying a very good words here. Uh, try not to consider it the chore. Seek people to make connections, make friends. You will want to watch when you build a rapper put the time in and people Before. will do it for you. Yeah. It's yeah, it's exactly that. That's so well said. So that's cool. Very, very well said. That's a good motive. We should have that. That's another one yeah. of a, that should be one of your liners tonight that would fit in perfect yeah. with. So <laughs> no, it's it's uh, nice. Everybody puts a lot of work in their in their craft that they do. And some it's in like us in our editing, some people it's in their woodworking, some people it's in their fishing, some people in their motivating. And even though it's not quite your thing. It's, it's there's nothing wrong in, in appreciating somebody putting a lot of effort into it just the same as you did in yours and that's how you get to respect everybody and i believe that does really build long connections with the, the group that we're in right because if you see just me personally just doing a beavis voice you never would have thought i also know spanish too and a little bit of french a few mm -hmm. words in japanese and german and no italian wow. you wouldn't have known that about me that is so cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> People have a lot of layers. I love this. This is the best part of what we do here. Honestly, that's what I love is we can walk away knowing two or three different things about somebody because we've seen each other now a lot, you know, and we've mingled mm -hmm. on channels, watch each other's stuff. But those things we don't get to see as much. And, you know, it's, it's nice to hear, like, uh, all the different things you do. I loved hearing about uh, your selling style when you were younger and that, you know, it, it, it builds a better rapport between each other. <laughs> yeah, I better understand right now and uh, which makes uh like us first we go back and, and look for more and more uh you know content from and mutual respect people. down the road you for know sure. i believe that if we're all still you know doing this three four years down the road we'll always have that kind of bond there so i think that's well Hopefully three, four years down the road beyond that, I just want to keep helping me, whether it's through YouTube or Twitch or whatever. That's the reason why I started. This is just a way to do what I was going to do in the first place. That's cool though. You found your calling. That's, mm -hmm. that's not everybody can say that. Right. That's I hope to eventually make this my full-time job. I would love to be able to do this and just talk to you guys and get, you know, get sponsors. Like Pusha Studios live stream is sponsored by, you know, it's like whatever. It's uh, could be by uh, <laughs> City of Toronto or Quebec or Quebecois. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, yes, why not? <laughs> See, I was raised Anglo, so I'm like, Belle Marco, parlez-vous français, c'est bon. Right? Ça marche, c'est très bien. <laughs> probably better than mine now. <laughs> oh, I just know a little bit. I'm not fluent. It's just, uh, you know, it's just. Oh. oh, we lost him. Are we still there? I see you guys. I don't know. It's just like the connections for uh, Google is not that good. No, I'm still here. The last two days, like the remember when I said about yours in the snow? I've seen that in like probably 10 other live streams so far, including ours. There's something really weird going yeah, on having... right now. Because it's, yeah. Uh, uh, Lego, uh, what's his name? Big uh, Big Lego. Uh, the guy that dyed his beard pink right now. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, his was dying out a lot today. Yeah, it just it yeah. just happens. Uh, well, uh, lots of amazing uh, comments here about how much we're all a family and all that, and and, and about getting to know uh, each other behind. Um, yeah. Like Bits of Real Panther says, and if, even if I don't care for the content of the video, I still try to look for something to learn from it, like lightning dialogue, presentation, music, and so on. Exactly. There's always something to look for and, and learn. And uh, that's right, blindly. Honestly, as I always say, it's about the person behind the channels as well, not just the content. Uh, exactly. And that's why we're doing this. That's yeah. why we're doing to, uh, this today with Verdict Squad and, and our other guests before. And after this, uh, we want to know the people behind the channels oh, because there? that's who connect is not the channels. It's people behind oh, them. I hear a voice. Are you there, man? Yeah, for some reason my phone's acting up. I'm trying to uh, get it back because my screen went black. I'm hearing uh, your voices, but I'm just trying to. Yep, we see your logo. Get back can, in. We can hear you. Okay. Well, well you guys remember him because you've been looking at him lots. Good looking man with a toque, just like in the hands. So <laughs> we, we got just painting a visual for all of our uh, listeners right now. So, um, well, it's, but it has been really great tonight. And, uh, you know, your channel shot up really quickly. You've got a lot of people involved. It's uh, mm -hmm. 
I was really interested. I was really interested to hear your story. I was. Oh, there you are. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was just weird. My phone's been acting up. I don't know. I don't know if it's just like I have too many tabs running in the background, or because uh, I was uploading my live stream before I jumped on here. I was waiting for it to upload on YouTube. Okay, because I went and checked. I seen you were uh, you had you, you had ended it, and then we were wondering. And then I just checked on uh, Twitch. So that's what you were doing. Okay, cool. No, and no, no. I'm still here. Timing so. We had a weird day today on the Xenia. I think you weren't here yet for it. We had an unboxing. Uh, her uh, pictures were put into a calendar. That's oh, nice. Coloring book, yeah. coloring book, excuse me. So she's being coloring book. again. So. so we did a little unboxing the first Yeah, time. our first unboxing. <laughs> Xenia represented Quebec two years ago for Canada National Geographic for Canada Day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's my photography side. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with, uh, yeah. With, uh, she also won upcoming photo photographer of the year with. Uh, yeah, emerging photographer of the year of 2016, uh, Photo Life magazine. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you ever get a chance to check out her Instagram, it's definitely worth seeing. Yeah. <coughs> Are you on Instagram? Yes, I am. He is. I went today. I was looking for a picture of you, and that's when I, when you were doing your stream, I messaged you. And then we had to leave, so I had to grab. So I took a screenshot and I redid it. You'll see it after in the in the, the preview for tonight. So you look good, though. I made you look good. I guarantee you. <laughs> you, you All right. I think everybody agree with me. You were selling it, so yeah, I don't consider it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Truth be known, a little bit about me. A quick story. When I was messaging you, and I was about to go on James's live stream. Uh, here, I'll turn the camera. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. Oh, our camera turned. Sorry. I kind of had a bit of a weird thing happen to me today. Uh, I had a cousin who passed away about a month and a half ago. He was my great cousin. And he never married until late in his life. And uh, he used to come stay with us. He lived in Ontario when I was young. And uh, he passed away about two months ago. And it was sad. And <laughs> everything was, uh, you know, it's not a nice thing. And just before we were about to go on live today, my uh, the executor for his will called, who happened to be my father. He's known about this for a month and a half, but couldn't tell me that he actually just had called. He had read the will, and everything is left to me. So, oh. I, as of today, I got a house, I got two cars, and whatever else will go with it. And it's a really weird feeling of you know happiness, sadness. Uh, huh. A lot of uh, mixed feelings probably going on. You probably just uh, unexpectedly in the estate, everything was left to you. Yeah, you know, I mean, honored and saddened, and you know, it, it was not something I expected. I uh, and it's funny how it changes your whole life. You know, uh, we walked out of the house because I said I get out for a little bit, and it's almost like walking outside. The whole world looked different for a moment, if that makes any sense. So yeah, it was a. Uh, well, because like now it's a big part of like what was part of your world. Your cousin now is gone. Now to you, it would be a different world going forward. That's probably what you were going through. You, you really nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. I, uh, so yeah, that's why tonight, if I seem a bit off and today when I wasn't on in that, that's exactly why I, I couldn't even think straight. So I'm like, how do I even go on and start typing and, you know, end up really <laughs> butchering it. So I said, better, I'm just going to take a bit of time. So. So yeah, there's a little bit about me. I don't usually do that, but so that's no, it's, it's all good. I have I actually have a retirement house now where I grew up, so that will be nice. <laughs> there's an upside to it. He was very strong about having it to stay in the family. He wants it to keep our last name, so that was part of the reason why. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna change our day to day lives. So no, we're not those kind of. No, people, we're not but, millionaire. We're not gonna like uh, you know. But the but good part about it is that yeah. we're gonna be able to travel more, which we uh, enjoy a lot. Uh, yeah. And as you can see on our pictures behind us, which we're gonna go through in one of our following live streams. Yes. Once, because uh, <laughs> uh, everybody keep asking about our pictures, so that's uh, that's a part. There, we talked about like tacky souvenirs. That's all I keep from when I travel is pictures. So, because <laughs> I always say anything else you get is gonna be made in China with a label stamped on, stamped on it. Right. Know. Pretty much, I can buy that when I'm home and get a sharpie and do the same thing for more or less. <laughs> you know, Mark, but hey, but you know what? It's the same thing with like a souvenir. So, uh, just speaking of souvenirs, every time we hit a milestone, I don't know if you noticed. I think behind me a little bit. I don't know if you can see yes. it here. Yeah, yeah, you can see some souvenirs here. Also, uh, here as well. We just passed another milestone. We make uh, souvenirs every single time we pass a milestone. I love how it becomes. That. A I meant to ask you a while ago, and then we got onto another subject. I think that is so cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh you're really good at making the audience feel like family 
like you know i see that and that's very cool mm -hmm. also i hope one day to keep about just making this essentially my wallpaper just of different milestones and also if people want to send us fan art that will also hang up on the walls to me that's worth more also because we're building an international audience that's a goal i had for verdict squad i hope to eventually hang up flags of different countries as well like uh i think there's uh, the certain metric we want to hit is like if we can maintain at least the minimum of five percent based upon the youtube analytics of who's watching from where based upon watch time in minutes right. we'll put up your flag too so i think canada's already up there so eventually when we get a po box we'll get a get Canada up there too. We'll all do a whole ceremony yeah, and everything. Oh, isn't that amazing? Definitely. That would be so awesome. Yeah. I We're not living it. there right now, but if you want a Latvian flag, we'll get you yeah, set up with one too. Yeah, I can little tag Latvian <laughs> since you'll probably, it's, it's very hard to get from there anyway. I count as from Latvian. <laughs> We're doing like Latvia. Latvia is actually showing up on our analytics to a lot of different places too. Oh, um, oh, I have like pretty much, good. yeah, internationally. I think some cool places I've seen, I've seen Pakistan, Egypt, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, South Africa, Mexico, Canada, UK, Ireland, Germany, France, uh, Latvia, uh, Slovenia, all over the world. Doesn't that amaze? Isn't that an amazing thing? Sometimes you think about it when you see those analytics and you see those countries, think you can almost picture the person sitting there like 12 hours ahead of us in time zone, having the morning coffee, watching what we do over here or vice versa. It shows you how amazing mm -hmm. the world is. Uh, that's my right country. because we really don't have borders anymore. We're all connected. We have this way to actually talk to each other. It does not matter what a government says, what is and what isn't. It really doesn't because that's, they don't get to make the rule that anymore. That is so true. Our camera got mm -hmm. upside. Sorry, I am listening to you. And I'm looking at it. it's like a dog with one ear up, one down. No, it's fine. <laughs> there, we kind of got a Batman thing going right now. Reese's <laughs> Mill Off Road Adventures asking what to, what do you mean by fan art? I guess he uh, fan art fan art is because uh, somebody offered to draw our logo for us. They're a, they're an artist. They uh, do drawing and animation. So if people want to send us something just like either a souvenir or just a, uh, do something just for, you know, cause I consider this the home of our verdicts while the apartment that I'm in, because you know, this is really just a kind of like a global headquarters, I guess, so to speak. Yes, it is. But, You're not wrong. It is. You're 100% mm -hmm. right. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. And also, um, for our travel series too, we started just domestically, uh, hopefully for international travel series, uh, based upon uh, our analytics and how people are watching will heavily determine like if places we could go to, assuming we have the money to do it. So Canada's up there. Canada would be a great choice. Definitely. Love to have you sometime. Mm -hmm. and we'll have a beer. Got family there. Have you guys here. So there you go. I can just make a whole trip and just come back down. There you go. Isn't that amazing that we'll, we've been talking to a couple other ones as well about that? I mean, that's going to be uh, uh, Island Aesthetics, what we talked about, because they're going to be traveling across Canada. Uh, yes, they're going to be coming at the end of May uh, through Montreal, or, yeah. and we're going to see them. Uh, Joey, uh, Joey is going to yep. be coming over uh, mm. in summer. Um, Joey's going to be doing the big train ride from Toronto to here, so yep. that'll be cool. And vlogging about right. that. Yeah, yeah, so we have a couple pl planned in real life as well, which is so amazing. I love that part. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes this so much fun. We're producers, we're directors, we're actors. We have everything at our own fingertips. It's a lot of work, but we also have all to say, which is really cool. Look at Corn Life met uh, Miss Kathy the other day. Yes, yeah, that's that true. was so cool too. You know, it's great that we have uh, we make these connections uh, beyond internet. Uh, Definitely, so that's for sure. Right, we're only missing the Grammy and the Emmy, but you know they can keep those. I don't want them anyway. <laughs> that will. Come I gotta write a speech. Then I got to do scripted content. I don't do scripted content. Then I got to write a speech. That's right. See, we are in your medium. We don't need the Emmy in that. We just need the views, and hopefully they pay us well in the end enough of, you know, make it a little Right. Uh, I prefer to keep a low profile, but that's fine. That's just me. Yeah, yeah, me too. I wouldn't want to be high. I wouldn't want that. They can have that. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the question about fan mail. Uh, now, people want to know, how can they send things to you? Um, I'll announce when I set up a PO box. I haven't done that yet. So when I send a PO box, just send it to there. I just want to keep my personal mail and the PO box separate just because if we continue to grow, I yeah. imagine that our uh, postal carrier will get really angry with me and go on strike. And that's right. And it's good to separate a bit of your own personal. You don't really want to give out everything to everybody. Yeah. So keep it's, your ears yeah. and eyes <laughs> yeah. out. Uh, <laughs> and there's going to be an announcement of that. Uh, Reese's Mill off-road adventure. Yeah. Oh, and James is chiming in with the I am a creator awards. My God. I, I had a feeling. I yeah. had a feeling. Yeah, you did too. I we also had uh, talked about uh, I am a creator conference or icon for short. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 there, yes. There we go. Uh, somebody was 
talking yeah. about that October doing that. Oh, corn life. We were talking yeah. about corn mm -hmm. life about it, and October was starting to get yeah. in a in a way. And the that, award would be James. Like I just picture him sitting like this with the microphone, like in his chair, yeah. just a body shot, like a bust of him there. Yeah. <laughs> He's wearing his we little tox and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a creator news. Yes. Yes. You're gonna be on James very yes, soon we with promise. your 30 minutes of I'm a creator news. That's how we're gonna call your segment. That's what we decided mm -hmm. to do, and I think that actually would be fun to have 30 minutes aside a week to just talk about it. Like that way, we can cover the whole week updates. James mm -hmm. will do it, and you know, and really bring everybody up to speed. What's changing? What's new? You can mention some of the new ones that are joined, or big milestones for some other ones. So, I forgot because tonight usually Google Hangouts is not bad, but tonight it's not switching between us. So I apologize. No, I that's keep, fine. <laughs> I'm manually doing it this time, and I feel like I'm like you said about a control room. I feel like I got one. But then you get talking, you forget, and then I realize some of my deepest Right. Thoughts. Joey wants to host the uh, award ceremony, so we already have a host. Yeah, Joey would be a good host. I can see that. <laughs> I, I can I see that. Yeah. Welcome back, Joey. How about that balance yeah. there? <laughs> oh, you, him him, and, and, and uh, Verdict Squad together, Marco and him, that would be so crazy. It'd be like, you know, when they had the Emmys, that awkward banter for the first five minutes of that with the jokes written for it, and then they let go on their own, and then that's when things would get really good. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have oh. to make that happen. <laughs> well, James says he has no news. Don't believe that for a second, but that's okay for yeah. the next for a different day. Today we are already kind of going towards the end of the stream, anyway, and yeah. we want to, we would want to focus on on your um, news separately. So. Yeah. Marco well, has been a long night, and I feel bad for him. Yes, my God, you have, I know, been, yeah. you have been so busy all day, all yeah. the streams and James's mm -hmm. and, and your own and ours. It's it's crazy. Thanks for the time tonight. Eh? I know yeah. we were talking no, about no no problem. Problem. No, no problem. And uh, no, no, we really do appreciate it. Uh, we'll have to get together soon. I'd like to once in a while get a panel of some of us that's been on for a while. And maybe just have an hour, everybody together, you know, maybe five or six. Like we did one that night, we were all together on James's. Just yeah, for that, we should probably set it up where it's just, uh, it shouldn't just be 10 people at once because there's too many people in the yes. room. I would just do it like uh, each one person at a time for an hour, and then you just have somebody else come in. That would probably be a lot better. Yeah, no, that's true. That's yeah, very true. I agree with that. Yeah, we had fun the other night when we tried our first multiple live stream. It was fun. Yeah, <laughs> we had a good, but you know, we made the best of it. It was a good laugh. Had some yeah. I'm sure people did too. Well, the last question, since you are so busy with everything going on, with 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 your amazing, uh, ambitious ideas and motivation, inspiration behind it, how do you relax? What is your go-to thing when you want to just relax? Uh, if I want to like unplug and unstress, if I don't get the time to go to the gym, I probably just either play video games because like, I incorporate that because I have I relax when I play video games, but I figured, hey, I'll just go on Twitch and people guys yeah. can just watch me. I just do uh, a little bit of yoga, meditation, uh, just really just trying to relax, just try to take time for myself and just try to put my phone down. If, it, uh, if the phone battery dies, it's even better, so I'm not tempted to use it. So, you know, just try to unplug. And you're right about Twitch. That's what I like. A lot of the guys. That's what I get. You go on, you get to play games, and still at the same not play games, but play video games, and you're still like bringing in like viewers, and some of them getting you know the the, the money. It's a win win. It makes real sense. Man, I think right. I'm talking sometimes it's so good. It's just clears the mind, and then you can jump in back with a new motivation to do things. On mm -hmm. so definitely, it's, it's a great idea. Yoga as well, like you say in your downtime. That's great. That's so many layers to people, my friends. So many layers. It's uh, it's nice to hear, and I think some people will see that because there's a lot of ones just starting here, watching us and talking about where we've grown, and it's nice for them to hear that it burnt us out by times, that it gets tiring, and that because they're feeling that right now and thinking, oh well, I'm not trying hard enough. I I found it really depressing, especially with kids. Like my daughter started going to bed. You know, we weren't saying good night to her at the moment. We go in, she was asleep. I found that very hard to deal with, and it's mm -hmm. I just. Finally, to put my foot down and say we got, I gotta have balance, or this is not gonna work. Oh, thank you. And so also, much. Oh, no, ahead. no, bro. Just a one quick thing. Like, no matter yeah. what YouTube does to you, whatever throws at you, whatever uh, mean or negative people say, know that this community is positive. And you'll have a home here. Uh, inherently, in the world, you're gonna have things that aren't so nice or not so great. But if you stick with it, and it's like I said before, in uh, the first video on the I'm a Creator uh, YouTube channel. 
It's like we said before, me, I have no professional training or no professional experience. I never made videos before, but there's absolutely no reason why if you don't keep at it, you don't give up, you never surrender and you work hard, you're active on social media, you utilize social media, you work for it, you offer and actually follow through with genuine support. There's no reason why you can't be where you and I are sitting right now and beyond. How true is that? And that's very true. And guys, be involved with your... Sometimes we message people and they want to be on the show, but they're like, I don't have Twitter. I don't have this. Uh, you honestly got to get Twitter. You got to get stuff like that. You got to be pushing them. They all work in conjunction with each other. You've got to be seen. And it is a lot of work. And watch your analytics. Your analytics is your Bible. You'll see when your best times to go on. You'll see where your performances are and your need to grow. It... It's not just making videos and putting them up. There's a ton of work goes on behind the scenes. When we're done this tonight, Xenia and I will be another two, three hours just cleaning up on this video and getting ready for tomorrow's one because we need to see where the other one went that was up yesterday plus where this one went to. And, and then I have to edit the pictures from uh, the baptism we did on Sunday. Yes. <laughs> when our actual <laughs> paid work kicks in. Let's our paid work yeah. too. <laughs> it is a lot of work. And you know yourself, uh, Marco, you, you do put in the work. Did we, did we exactly. Win? I mean, it's just like it's not going to come easy. Whether you end up with five, six, seven figures, we're, if we keep going, we'll go beyond seven figures. I yeah. genuinely believe that we will have seven figure people out of this group. But with anything with uh, success, with anything worth having in this world, it takes hard work. And I want to teach that to kids who tune into our live streams. They're probably used to either instant gratification and not just kids yeah. in general, but they just think everything should be expected. And it's just uh, easy. Nothing worth having in this world comes easy. Nothing. Even my gender. I mean, even like, like I said, I'm 44 and I see it even with friends of mine at my age. It's unbelievable this day and age how people figure if they're not on top in a month, it's just not worth it. And it's not like that. It's not going to. Peter Peter McKinnon, yes, I brought him once again, got his first million in what, a year or nine months? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And, and that's eight. like it's like a gigantic, like over the top growth. And it was still a year or nine months. So. You can't expect it to happen in three days with one video that takes off. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, but we put them in, you know, and you as well. You're pounding the pavement onto it. I, the way you're talking, I see you're always going through every animal, you, every channel available to you, you're using as a podium. And that's what you got to do. You've been such a pleasure tonight, Marco. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. And we would gladly have you back again. And uh, there's so much more to talk about. Yeah. Uh, all you know, it's just the first step to getting to know you, uh, accounting and yoga, yeah, and all the languages you know. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's amazing, and we would like to know, you know, a few months down the road, where are you with a Twitch and with yep. the reviews? That's so amazing. You're out of all the guests we've had so far, you're the one who left me feeling the most like I just started to scratch the surface of what goes on, <laughs> and that intrigues me. I like that. I think there's a lot more to you than we discussed. I mean, like I said, once again, we're not Maury Povich. We're not going to bring out anybody. But I think you have a lot of interesting stories to tell everybody, and it's been such a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you guys both for having me. I love about being here. I hope to talk to you guys again soon, especially uh, following up with Twitch and just to see where we're at with them when uh, we hit that affiliate mark. Perfect. Sounds good. We're great. pulling for you, my friend. Yes. You got this. Good luck to you guys, too. Thank you so much, and have yourself a good night, and thanks again for having me on. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. I loved so so much yeah. things, and yet so many unknowns. Still, yeah. you were right. No. Uh, we just crashed the surface. Uh, no. If you still haven't supported Verdisquad's channel, you just gotta go and and yeah. check it out and try and be on one of his live streams. It's so inspirational. Yeah. So motivational. You'll you want to learn how to work a crowd? Jokes. This guy works a crowd. And yes. Like I say, we all have our own strength. Ours, I really think we've kind of walked into the kind of the late show type of feel. And that's where we're comfortable. And I mean, I think we're doing an amazing job getting to know everybody, working with so many people here. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Love your interaction. And Verdict, he's that afternoon pump of coffee. He's like that gym workout when you leave a little bit early from work. That's what he gives. And I, he's really great with what he does. You know, and I like what he said a while ago. It's true. We're not stepping each other's toes. You bring in James into it and, and other streams, Mill Hill. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to copy each other. I, I, if I thought anything of this was copying, I'd be the first one to shut it down because I would honestly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, would no part to do with it. Because this was never a dream. So it's not like we sat and planned it all out to copy anybody because we never even planned any of it out. It was just 
we enjoyed hanging with you guys. I enjoy your questions. Like when we have our Tech Talk Tuesday is one of my favorite times of the week after getting to meet people <laughs> and stuff. It's so fun just to interact with you guys for two hours. You know, I see so many channels in here. I'm looking, you know, uh, Reese's Mill Hill Off-Road Adventures, uh, Crazy Russian Official. Uh, Bob Girl is here. Lady Borgia. Weaves World. Weaves World is a new one, I believe. So glad to have you here. You're, you guys are like family. Yeah, Blindly, there are lots honesty. of new, uh, yeah. new faces, uh, still lots of uh, regulars as well, which yeah. so much appreciated and so many questions. Oh, Rosie uh, Rose. Oh, she just left. Oh, I missed her. Uh, we got to check out Geek's uh, Countdown. Yes. Uh, and uh, who was uh, the... There was somebody else. Riverbend Longbows also said that they have. And also, we gotta go and check uh, their video as well. Yes. Uh, Bottle Caps is having a new video today on, so we definitely gotta go and check that. Um, we have a couple questions. Do you want to address that? Sure. Um, because I've been trying to save, so I apologize in advance if I missed some. James, I am your brother. <laughs> yes, you are. You James. are. Uh. <laughs> It's okay, so, so um, Devin it. Campbell asked uh, earlier, do you, for us a question, uh, do you find it hard to uh, vlog every day? <laughs> yep, I almost, how do I say this without something, but I think sometimes I almost dread it up until we get going. And then once we get going, I love it. And it's weird, it's because it's I never wanted to love it. I never really was into live vlog and i mean we're not really vlog to me vloggers are the ones that can get out there and hold a camera and talk to it yeah i wouldn't call it vlogging yeah too. Um, we're live streaming and i find the live streaming easier than vlogging because at least i have you guys you guys are like my security blanket <laughs> i know you're out there i see you asking questions i feel like it's bouncing off of somebody uh when i see like a joe and those guys you know out putting their camera down in like a middle of a park there's some people walking in and they're talking to it i don't know how you just do it I wish, I hope that if I ever had the chance, I could. I have huge doubts that I'd be able to. So I really respect people who do it. Um, uh, perfect. Uh, then, uh, sorry, we'll just go through the questions here. <laughs> uh, good cell life. Uh, we were talking about editing and how people, yeah. some people enjoy and not. And, and good cell life uh, offered to hi be hired for doing comments for us. Mm. And then in the uh, as a back favor, how is it called now? Uh, trade, uh, we <laughs> yeah. could do editing of his videos. Oh. So then, while we, you guys were chatting, we were, were saw, uh, thinking of the collab, you know, his yeah. video footage, our edits, yeah. was, uh, how it comes out. I'd like to that. do it. It's just like I say, with so many of these right now, I'm having so much time to even edit. You guys see my video three and a half minutes to Europe with the stills animated. I actually have another one coming from the highest uh, point in Europe, uh, the Mount Jungfrau. You yes. take by train and you actually go to the highest point by train in Europe, which is at the top of the Alps at 11,000 so many feet. And that's been sitting there like 99% done for what, a week and a half now? Mm -hmm. So I really got to try and find a way to get a jump on some of those ones and get them up. Plus, like we had the christening last week, I have a video to do for that, which is a paid, uh, a paid job. Um, UP4204, by the way, is letting us know that the video about OBS will be out this weekend. Excellent. We talked about that yep. uh, yesterday, I think. Yep. So that's amazing. Really looking forward to that. Thank yep. you. And that's what it's all about. That's what we are saying. It, it's not just about us talking about tips and tricks or, or us telling you guys how to do yep. some things. Uh, it's all of us. It's you and and us. Oh, no. It's uh, like I said, uh, me and you have questions. Me and you have answers. And yeah. like the the great example with UP four two zero four is that we had a question about OBS, and now we're looking forward yeah. for the video where he explains how to do that. So uh, it's helping oh, each other. Maui Khan, three girls. So glad to have you. Yeah, I went, yeah, I went and watched for your videos today. We hadn't connected in a few days. So great to have you here. I'd seen you pass a while ago, but we were in the middle of a conversation, so I didn't get to acknowledge you. So glad you're here. Top Trouble Vlog 8 is here. Remember? They've been here a couple of times. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's all. Uh, Matt Cook, Oregon. Sup? Sup, man. 
this guy makes great videos too. He, him, and I like both really like dark shading in our videos. We were talking about that. The great night. questions, usually on yeah. the on the tech. Uh, mm -hmm. By Big the time. way, too. Um... And guys, yeah, don't forget we have Tech Tuesday, where we talk about video editing, uh, photography, uh, vid uh, shooting in the field, uh, graphics, graphics. Uh, uh, social media, any promo uh, graphics that you're yeah. doing, putting there. Any questions? So if you have any questions, either DM us or tweet at us on Twitter at yep. Social Studios. Uh, or and uh, come on our Tuesday Tech Talk on yeah. Tuesday. We also are going to be having a guest uh, on Tuesday Tech Talk. So, that's true. Uh, that's right. Yes, yeah, I forgot uh, about that. So confirmed. So we're going to probably having a, a first part um, uh, an interview with a guest, and then the second part uh, as a Tuesday Tech Talk answering question. So be ready. I know it's um, late in the stream. I got to fix this because it's driving me to the point of insanity. <laughs> it's got my OCD like right to the roof. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, this Saturday, uh, there's going to be a friendly, uh, family friendly content. Uh, probably our son is going to be joining us as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting guest. Uh, if you want to have your kids with you on a Saturday night and spend some quality time and watch a live stream as well, that would be the one to watch. Or if you're a kid at heart. Uh, yes, or if you're a kid at heart. Mm -hmm. um, then Monday, very exciting Manic Monday, yes. uh, all music, uh, guitars, um, keyboards, drums, anything possible, everything Tell and all about music. Uh, yeah, uh, a razor is going to be on. Mm -hmm. uh, Neil's dr drums. Oh mm -hmm. my God, I have a list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought you had your list. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Milkhold Mud Mowers, uh, Rosarian Buck is going to be on. Yep. Um, Ajo is coming. Uh, yeah. And he, he's uh, Neil is going to be Neil from C, uh, yes. yeah. Ethan's and Halo. So we have uh, four or five uh, mm. guests. Um, oh, and I found a guy the other uh, day that music. might be coming, and he plays juice harp. Oh, uh, and harmonica. Excuse me. Excuse well, me. That's interesting. Yeah. So I figured he was an interesting mix to it. So yes. So yeah. So Monday, uh, please tune in. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure we can get guys play something. Uh, so. Uh, uh, tune in on Monday. And it won't be just music. It will, like, no. I mean, it will be all music, but it won't be just talking instruments. We're going to be talking genres. Be, oh, music yeah. groups, everything, everything and all about. So definitely going to come back uh, for Monday for sure. Mm. So lots of exciting things. I have uh, lots of guests uh, lined up already for next week. Uh, lots of things to be excited about. Uh uh, yes, for sure. On uh, Corn Life would like to be on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'll make a note of that. Uh, you play. How do you pronounce this? What? Kaj Kion? Kajon? Kajon. Kajon. You play Kajon. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, Kajon music. Uh, Kajon music. Uh, the from uh, it's from Louisiana. Oh, then. type of music. Yeah, okay. type of music. It's a genre. Yeah. Uh, James, you can always come back and watch the stream after it's up is uploaded. Like yeah. and comment after it's uploads. The same as with this one. Don't forget to come back, like and comment after the video is uploaded. Uh, we need your comments and you need comments so other people see that you have been here, especially today. That have been so uh, many great um, creators and supporters here. You want to be seen. Um, everyone go like the live stream you have not yet. That's right. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, best friend in your thread. Just loving it. Um, box drum from Peru. Oh, okay. Look, Corn Life Network says it's a box drum from Peru. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I know he's talking about this. We talked about that the other night. That's right. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah. Name for it. Yes, that will be very cool. I'm definitely going to have him on. I forgot all about that. Uh, yeah, so please, uh, I'm, I'm putting you down here. I, I hope uh, now. Getting organized is the part of this core night network on Monday. Uh, so it's gonna be fun. I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna shoot past two hours. So James, if you're working, I'm sure you're gonna be home and we're gonna be still on. So <laughs> uh, now Andrew is taking okay. I want to be there live. Well, well, as I said, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be on for uh, a while on Monday. So it's going to be a Monday Monday party. Uh, announce is Cajon. I'm not too good. English is not my first language, so I'm really 
cheesy, quirky on pronunciations. Blindly, honestly, I don't want the stream to end. I'm loving just listening to you guys talk. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. I'm going to be checking your DM uh, soon after. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. To see you all. Manic Monday music. Yes, exactly. It's going to be Manic Monday uh, music on Monday. Uh, so definitely come on and join us. Uh, Travel of Z. Hello from Yuda. Hi. And James Cox. One time did you play Eric Clapton? <laughs> oh, Layla, especially. Everyone will be rocking. That's right. Now, this is a little uh, preview. Can I turn the camera? A little preview of Monday. There we go. First time I played in literally four and a half months, I think it is. So. <laughs> Sing us a song, Geek says. Well, you'll have to come and join on Monday. Sing us a song. You're the piano man. Yeah, I love it too. Um, you have to come back on Monday, and we'll see what the guys uh, are going to do. Uh, maybe girls. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I, I'm so excited for Monday. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, I'm sure in chat and on live, uh, it's a... Uh, Different format once again, uh, but I think it's going to be fun for everybody. So very looking forward so much. Oh, people are just loving it. That's awesome. Oh, Rocking it up. Yeah, Andrew. Wow, you're good. Play the guitar. Rock it. <laughs> uh, do you have any Megadeth? Uh, I do. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, yes. Oh, you guys uh, are so, so kind. Uh, <laughs> so amazing. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> Come Monday, you want to hear more of that uh, and a song or two, uh, come back on Monday. But uh -huh. till then, we still have live streams tomorrow from 8 to 10 and yeah. on Saturday from 8 to 10 Eastern. Please tune in. Um, mm. Come and support us. We love you. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much for coming. Have good a good night. night. And keep, keep creating. creating. <laughs>